all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you today our topic is very interesting and very nice and think i think all of you will like it uh before we start we have a promotion today that's uh, those who are watching our video you might uh, possible uh, win a ticket around the trip uh, to las vegas and if you are a muslim it's going to be one-way ticket to las vegas uh, so, you know, the topic, as you see, uh, what is the best hotel in Las Vegas, top 10? You know, I did a lot of search uh, because, you know, I like to do gambling and, you know, uh, women there are very beautiful too, a lot of prostitution, you know, as uh, Allah, he allowed me to do, you know, because those are called what is your right hand possess. So simply when you pay them, you can capture them too, I mean, you know. So anyway, well, the, the serious question is, what is the best hotel in Las Vegas? Now feel free to leave a comment in the text and tell me what do you think, which is one, which is the one is the best. Um, let me see the list of hotels. I'm not really too much familiar with the names. Or, I, mean, I don't remember all the names. I've been in all of them, all of them with no exception. I mean, I spent most of my life in hotels in Las Vegas, right? Las Vegas hotels. Let us see. <coughs> Prostitution is illegal there. That is one of the negative things about Las Vegas, my friend. I will show you why. Because if they want to make people happy, they have to allow prostitution the same as Islam does. I mean, why? Why they will not make it legal to have a prostitution? What's wrong? I mean, what's wrong? What's wrong? That's not even fair. Anyway, let us see the list of hotels in Las Vegas. Okay, this is the list of hotels. Uh, <clears throat> for a queen, let us see what for a queen have. What for a queen is going to offer? Hold on. Let us go to four Quinn. Okay, four Quinn. What we want to see the pictures. You know what? I don't like Google. Uh, you know, let me see a different website. Um, all right. that's better so now we have uh, aguda.com is going to show us what those uh, hotels are about look at the look what you get in this hotel all right look what you get uh, those are the rooms as you see you have a nice tv but still i don't see anything about any women and that is a negative so this is no no we go to the second one all right the second one mgm resort international all right what they have in mgm two beds okay that's good if you have many women you can have two beds you can put them together and you can have like uh, okay this one is uh if no i mean this is what it doesn't look good. Why this picture here look nicer? Here picture look look, look ugly. I don't know. I don't like the MGM. And look, it says Station Casino Six, uh, Caesar's Entertainment uh, Corporation Eight. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? All right. Bali Las Vegas. Okay. What Bali Las Vegas uh, give us? Uh, nothing rooms, you know. Okay, uh, this one, eh, still the same. I mean, not, nothing special, really. I mean, I'm looking for something special. I don't want to spend the money which Allah He gave me, and something stupid. All right, hold on, hold on. All of this is nothing really. Until now, I don't see anything special. Uh, the swimming pool. Uh, eh, I mean, oh, need a swimming pool. Come on, you're going all the way to Las Vegas to, to swim in a swimming pool? I mean, is that really an entertainment? Okay, 
this one looked nice. Let's see what this one is. Paris, Las Vegas. Oh, they brought Paris to Las Vegas. Okay, room. Okay, and the room is okay. And that's it. You see, until now, until now, we did not see one thing is good for us to, as a reason to go there. It's just a bed and a room, and you know, I mean, it's what a big deal. However, I found what is better than all the hotels of Las Vegas, and that is the Hotel of Allah. You see, Las Vegas, imagine Las Vegas, and in Las Vegas, everything is for free, brother. Everything for free. Um, you play gambling for free. By the way, everything is haram in the earth. In the Las Vegas of Allah is halal, which mean anything, anything, you name it. I mean, anything the Muslim, they say to you, it is not allowed, including pigs and pork. Anything is not allowed in earth is allowed in the heaven. So the heaven of Allah, mashallah, alhamdulillah, it's an amazing heaven. And you are going to have whatever you wish. This is what the Quran says, whatever you wish. Now, because you will have whatever you wish, so we need to make a compare, and it's going to be serious compare between the heaven of Allah and Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, if you are uh, a perverted man and you like to have sex, first of all, you have to spend money. Otherwise, nobody will say hello to you. In the heaven of Allah, women, they will be lined up Endless number 80,000 for each Muhammadan 80,000. I mean, you can, you can fill all up this square. You see how big this square? All those buildings huh, have rooms, those hotels have rooms, and they will not be enough for one Muhammadan woman, just for one person. All those rooms, and it is for free, which is really amazing. And this is what will make. I mean, you should consider about why you should convert to Islam. It's very convincing that this is must be God because only God can provide such a huge number of females for sex. No pimp, no pimp in Las Vegas can give you, can promise you even, you never, not, maybe can give you 20, 30, 50, but 80,000 women for sex. Who can do that? That must be God, you know? Additional to that, in the heaven of Allah, and by the way, anyone here is a Muslim, he said it's not true. You just give me a call. I mean, I will be so happy to have you, my friend. I'm serious. I will be so happy to have you, and I will take your call right away. We take only, in the beginning, always, phone calls from Muslims. If any Muslim don't agree with me, and he believe I'm not, in, I'm not being honest, at least, uh, uh, call me and prove me wrong. wrong. Uh, right? Uh, I just received a message. All right. So, you know the, the 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 religion of Islam because it's so beautiful, and it's so amazing, and uh, you know Quran is a book of science as we know, and you know I mean there's a lot of things there's a lot nobody have what Muslims have we have to be honest here. I find or I found that it is impossible to find anyone in competition with the promises of Allah as an example if you are a perverted man who like to have sex with the children the Quran have a solution for that it will give you beautiful boys who they are described as very sexy and very white because you know Arab people they love white color they are not they are obsessed with the white color. This is why women, they have to be very white. 
and the boys too they are very white too I mean if the boys is just servant what about we make them different color I mean why they are too white because simply the white color is the white of the God of Islam everything in heaven have to be white you cannot be in heaven of Allah you are not qualified to enter the heaven of Allah unless you are white and we can prove that from the Quran if a Muslim you want to say this is not true this is false I mean, call me my Skype is open so if you are a racist person you like to have a Las Vegas have only white people bingo Allah he provide you that Allah he provide you that so now we are adding points one after one all of it fit perfectly with Allah promises you see when you uh, when you join the heaven of Islam you feel like you are going to different galaxy you know it's like you are going in the space you know and uh, uh, in those space in this space there is uh, women waiting for you you see those stars just right there those those stars is like the numbers of women you will see and those women you will sleep with them literally and those women are very professional and sex it's not like your wife the boring women in the bed who do not know any any tricks will make you happy those are made by Allah so you can imagine how good the design is you can imagine how beautiful the design how horny they will be for Allah he made them uh, uh, you know special women uh, actually according to the uh, Islamic books Allah he spent 1,000 year in each woman in order to make her skin smooth you will not find any women in Las Vegas and you would never find I assure you that that she was able to work in her skin for 1,000 years to make it smooth for your majesty I mean 1,000 years just to smooth the skin of a woman and the funny the Muslim they say to us that if Allah he wants something to happen he say be and it's going to be so why take him 1,000 years to smooth the skin of a female I mean 1,000 year why she have a skin of alligator why took him 1,000 year just buy some Vaseline man I mean seriously this God is weird I'm worried about his time is about his energy took Allah 1,000 year to snow to, sm to smooth the skin of a woman well what is the why this is what the ignorant will say but a person who was educated like me he knew the reason if you remember the Muslim man is a promised to have a woman her ass is one mile size now imagine if the ass alone is one mile so don't Think that Allah is smoothing the skin of a woman she is like five foot tall as an average height for women we are talking about big huge women the ass alone need like 10,000 men to work in it half mile or one mile if you if you say it's one mile uh, the, the width and the the the, the, the height it we may maybe a half mile I'm not sure so if it is one mile wide and half mile high you can imagine how long the ass alone is going to take Allah to smooth it and that's a lot of work so the women she will be laying down uh, on the bed or something and Allah is giving he getting like he have his uh, sandy machine and he is working in that women for 1,000 years and you know that again is showing us how much Allah he care for us he spent 1,000 years in each woman just to smooth her skin. And what the purpose is just to make you happy. All what Allah want, He wants you to be happy. Be happy, don't worry. So Allah is consuming a lot of time of His all, priceless time, you know. Because as you know, Allah is busy. Allah is not like anyone. This is God, my friend. This is the, this is the true God of the universe, the one who created the chicken and the barbecue and everything. He is busy creating for the Muhammadan women who he spent 1,000 years to make their skin smooth. So how you can reject such a Las Vegas? 
in the Las Vegas of Allah, you will be sitting in your chairs or your your bed, sorry, and the banana tree will be in the top of you, and will give you banana. You don't even need to grab the banana. The banana, the, the tree will bend down to you. You cannot do that anywhere else. No Las Vegas. Las Vegas. You have, if you want to get some beer, you have to go to the refrigerator. In the heaven of Allah, the river of wine is going under your bed. You just grab it. So what do you think who can who can really resist the promises of the one the Muslims they call him the God Allah I think this God is so so good and so sexy I mean look uh, let us be honest here all men they like women unless you are a gay or a homo or something different you know uh, but you see Allah he knew exactly what everyone want so he promised you everything you want there's boys there's women there's wine even there is a river of milk I mean you would never ever buy milk again river of milk and I'm not sure how many cows in the other side making the milk I don't know how to make a river of milk without like maybe you need like that. if we have one point the Muslim they say they are 1.8 by the way next week they will say they are what we are two billion just wait so if the if they are like a billion human being, if they are, uh, then how we are going to get enough cows in the other side of the river to make the milk? And in the top of that, you know, cows they do fart and they make a lot of methanol. You know, it's very dangerous, by the way. Yeah, I don't know if you ever live or drive by uh, a cowboy farm where they have like thousands of uh, cows. The smell is so scary. Uh, so when the Muslims die, their physical body goes. Yeah, well, uh, uh, the Quran says, which means we created them again in a new creation. So they will be in a physical being body, but that physical being will be different. However, before they enter the heaven of Allah, there's uh, uh, two angels that will be waiting for them in the front door, and the two angels they will give you two drink. The first one will take all your sin out. You know, like it's like uh, you know, Clorox. You know, you drink it, you have diarrhea. Uh, you know, all all the sin. Uh, uh, you know, then the second drink will make you white, because no, as we said, which which is a contradiction, by the way, to the story of a Jassasa, because a Jassasa story supposedly already you are white. So why you want to drink them drink to make them white? Maybe to make them white for sure. I mean, in case a Jassasa did not hit correctly. So you take the drink and you will become shiny like a like a like a brilliant star. You know, uh, and then you enter heaven, and then uh, if you watch the the video of the Dean show, who who of you saw the Dean show before the program about paradise? Who of you saw it? Give me one. Give me one. The first one who will give me when uh, one, I will I will I will get you a ticket, uh, one way ticket to Afghanistan with your family. All right. Let us see who is the winner. Okay, Sheikh, your booty is the winner. He will get one way ticket to Afghanistan for spending the most beautiful vacation in his lifetime with the with Taliban. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, this is the first winner. You see, if you watch our program, always you win something is incredible. So, Sheikh, your booty he is in the text. He is the winner for one way trip. To Afghanistan and he will spend his summer vacation with Taliban I mean that's amazing all right now we will see later who is going to be the second winner for our amazing prize which is given to Allah but to, to us by Allah all right now we continue uh, uh, by the way any time any moment if you are a Muslim and you think Islam is a good religion and now we are saying things not true please give us a call I mean, come on, we like to hear from you and we like you to say to us if we are wrong, you know, correct us. Nothing wrong with this, you know. Um, you know, uh, uh, every, everybody have a, have a reason for things, right? So like when, you, when people, they say, uh, they say something, uh, you know, we have to look at the reason. What is the reason? What is the reason Allah will give me 80,000 women for sex? 
a person who don't believe in Islam he might find it weird and strange but the fact is not let me tell you why when the Prophet of Allah when the Prophet of Allah sallallahu when the, I cannot hold myself to say from saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because this is what the Muslims do when they say the name of Muhammad right away they attach to it that Allah pray on him and salute him right away because Allah he served Muhammad and he worked for him full time so when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that when you go to heaven sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah will make your penis endless sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now, if you think about Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's statement, you will know Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying the truth because it's not even right to go to heaven and you have a normal size of a penis. And as you know, in this old world, size does matter. I mean, we have to be honest. Have you ever seen somebody is proud to have a small house? No. They say, I have a very big house. Okay. Have you ever heard of somebody is being proud about having, uh, you know, a small ring or like women? Let us even women. She like, I have uh, my husband, he bought for me a small ring. I'm so happy. No, she will not do that. She will say a big ring, big diamond, man. So like size, obviously, doesn't matter. And because size doesn't matter, even Allah, Allah, his name is what? Allah, his name is Allah Akbar. What Allah Akbar mean? Allah is bigger. Akbar means bigger. We can go right now and search in Arabic. The Muslim they try to fool you. Even some Christians who they are naive, they do not know Arabic. They say to you that the word Akbar mean uh, greater. Mm. See, this is can be true if the God of Islam origin is not even a pagan. And Akbar, you know, uh, to say Allah is Akbar and mean Allah is a greater. I mean that is stupid because when you have to say Allah is a greater, you have to compare him to something. Uh, are you getting my point? When I say this ring, this this diamond is bigger, then I have to compare it to other diamond. Is that correct? Okay, guys. Tamara, she is saying the size ring of the ring it doesn't matter. That's mean if any one of you is poor, he is looking for a wife. Tamara is there. She will accept any ring from you, even if it's a plastic. Okay, here we go. Bingo. That's that's a good woman. All right. I hope many men they will hear my uh, call and they will ask for your uh, your foot uh, before we sleep today, Tamara. I mean your hand. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. In my scenario, all women they like something. Uh, you know, they like a big car. They like. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you are different. I, I I think you need to see a doctor. I don't know what's wrong with you. To be honest with you. No plastic ring. See, here we go. Reality check. We said the plastic ring, she don't want it. Uh, so now the material matter. It's not, <laughs> see, for her size doesn't matter, but the material, uh, okay, I got you. All right. So suppose the, uh, the uh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Mm. Let it go, let it go. Anyway, so now, now, if you are a Muslim and you are reciting the Quran, uh, and by the way, there is a, uh, uh, I don't know if you saw the news. Uh, there is a th third, 300, uh, I don't know, thinkers, writers like me uh, from France. They send a letter to the Azhar uh, Institute asking them to delete hundreds of verses from the Quran. I don't know if you saw the news. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you. Egypt. This is the news from Egypt Independent. Dar al Ifta denounced French call to omit verses of the Quran. Okay, what is the problem here? What is the problem? The problem is that those people they are asking the Muslims to delete hundreds of verses, which is anti. It is it is hateful and racism. I mean, imagine those ignorant French people. Why you do that? Why? What's wrong with you? The Quran is a book teaching love. Okay, let me prove it to you. How many times Obama he said Islam mean peace? 
How many times George Bush he said that? How many times Hillary Clinton says that? How many macaroni he said that? How many times Albertini says that? You know? I mean, what's wrong with you? 300 signature? Okay. Let me ask those 300 signature. I appreciate their work. But don't you think all the Quran from the beginning to the end should be deleted? I mean, what if you delete the hateful verses from the Quran? What is left, my friend? Come on, what we have to be realistic here. We have to give them something. We cannot take it all. What is left if we take all the hateful verses from the Quran? And the funny one of those who 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 sign in this uh, uh, signature, the the former president Nicolas Sarkozy. Former Prime Minister Manuel Carlos Valls and famous singer Charles Azavanur. Mm. Okay. I yeah, know. I think we take the hateful verses from the Quran, nothing is left. All the idea of Islam is based on hate hate others who they are not Muslim so you can get the versions this is what Las Vegas is about there's a winner and there's a loser and the loser here is the one we kill not the one who will go to hell you see this God of Islam is weird he cannot send you to hell you see if the God of Islam is true why he don't wait until because this is what justice is about you know you give them time to live in this earth and then if they could not uh, join their your religion because they refuse then you send them to hell okay why you want to kill them because Islam is based in a false cult and the God does not exist. Muhammad, he want to use those men to fight for him and kill for him. And this is exactly what Islam is about. All right. Now, I appreciate really that those who do did sign the signature. We go back to our topic. Las Vegas 101. Guys, do you like the picture of Las Vegas? Always, always when I go to Las Vegas, because I'm very rich, as you know, you know. And by the way, the Quran says that gambling is haram. Do you believe it? Not only haram, he says gambling and wine is from shaitan. Mm. And then Muhammad, he said, my nation will be 73 sect. One of them will go to heaven. Muhammad. Don't you think this is a big gambling? <laughs> How gambling is haram, and you are telling your people that only one sect will go to heaven out of 73. Let me make it simple for you, Abdul. If you play card, you know, I used to play card when I was like a teenager. As I remember, it has 52 cards, right? Uh... 52 cards i remember once we were playing cards and we were teenage like you know very young and we are in a house in the seaside so i went uh i, I went to buy some food and my friends who they are in my age i left them in that house and they are playing card in the balcony and when i came back i found all of them, they are playing card side by side. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. They were playing card in one side of the table. Have you ever heard of seeing four boys playing cards in one side of the table? They are sitting next to each other. So I was saying, what, how do you play card like this? Because they can see each other papers. And I found out, like, right away, I look at the other side of the balcony. There was a woman. She was putting a cream. Hmm. Yeah. So all of them, they want to play card watching that woman, putting the cream in her skin. She's trying to make her skin soft, like Allah, the one who did 1,000 cream to a woman to make her soft. So four boys facing the women, and they are playing cards. Mm -hmm. Now, in the heaven of Allah, you do not need to do that. And this is the beauty about the heaven of Allah. You will have 80,000 female who do not need even a cream. Young Nina Flex, how are you, Mr. Young Nina? Do you want to call me? 
Mr. Young, do you want to call me as long you are a Muslim? Because we are short of Muslims these days. If you are a Muslim, please feel free to call me. I will be happy to hear you. And maybe you can correct us. Maybe I have a wrong idea about Islam. I don't know. Sometime, sometime I feel like my knowledge is not really good. And the only hope for me is you Muslims correcting me. All right. Like yesterday, we have a nightmare. He called me and he got me busted that the word asiletahu does not mean juice it means sharab which means a drink and then we go to the dictionary which he chose for us and we find that the word asiletahu means orgasm <laughs> i love it anyway anyway let us go let's go i mean why what's wrong with you what's wrong with you so in the las vegas of allah my friend everything is different Everything first of all is lawful and not only that Do you know that in the heaven of Allah? There is a market where there is no buying nor selling except Except what anyone remember? Anyone remember? Yeah, Islam is the best we have to agree we are comparing the top ten hotels What this is the whole topic is about we have to admit the best top hotel in Las Vegas is going to be the Hotel of Allah. Can you find me one room in Las Vegas? Have a river of wine? No. You drink as you swim in the wine. I mean, we have to be honest here. A river of milk. Huh? The fruit trees in the top of you, you do not need to grab them. They come down to you. You look at the tree, the tree bend down for you and give you the, the fruit. 80,000 women they are totally they are wearing like many layers of a cloth But you can see through even the not only the cloth you they will, they will look like like I don't know how to like a jellyfish That's amazing You know my me my, myself to be honest with you I wish one day I can date a jellyfish I mean, imagine, imagine you have a jellyfish in your bed. A woman, she looked like a jellyfish. You can see through everything, her bones, her teeth, you know. I want to know always what inside the teeth of a woman. Oh, what about nails? You know, their nails like long and they color them. I mean, they scare the hell of me. I want to know why. Why they have those long nails? I mean, obviously, women are very dangerous creatures. Like sometimes you look at their nails, you get scared. I mean, it's really scary. I mean, I, I saw women, they have like nails like 10 centimeters, like three, four inches, man. And yet they use the computer. I don't know how they can do that, but they manage. I don't know. Anyway, I feel sorry for the keyboard. Anyway, however, by the way, Allah, he missed that point. We have to mention that. Allah, he never mentioned in his Quran or in the Hadith that the women in the heaven they will have long nails i don't know why allah he miss, miss such a point hmm? why allah did not remember long nails how women they will be sexy if they don't have long nails long nails oh, hold on long what my english is funny man i need to learn english by the way by the way i noticed that all who watch my show if we can call it show especially today we are talking about Las Vegas their English is being improved okay I noticed that good for you I'm happy for you let us see all right look at this man look at this okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Let me show you what I am talking about so you can get an idea of the danger we men face when we are alone with women. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay, look with me. Oh, boy, look at this. Guys, a miracle happened. 
those nails not only big and huge what it says Allah no this is the word love uh, I thought for a second because the Muslim they make of any image out of it they make a miracle the name of Allah in the top of the watermelon the name of Allah in the egg the water name of Allah in a goat I mean the, the name of Allah can be found anywhere you know so now why Allah forgot this thing here why Allah did not promise men that their women they would have a long nails like this and they have like decoration and you know why I believe because Muhammad he never saw such a thing in his time those are Bedouin women they never do those things so the, the idea never came to his head to think about it right uh, how can you call him fraud who is the one calling who fraud who who is the who is the one young mr. young you are calling me fraud why am I saying you versions guys who is the fraud here the one who promised you versions or the one who promised you nothing I never promise anyone anything hello what we have to be honest here am I a person who claim to be a belief uh, uh, a prophet and if you believe in me I will give you endless penis not me it's your prophet Muhammad come on I mean isn't it of okay prove to me that how you can walk with the penis is endless man let us let us say take your prophet promise into practice okay uh, you will be in the heaven of Allah 90 mile tall I mean Muhammad don't exaggerate in numbers man this guy he'd never exaggerate I mean everything he says is true so you will be 99 90 mile tall in the heaven of Allah and then you have an endless penis okay how you can carry this penis how you can walk with it the first thing you need to do if you have a penis in such a size you have to change the direction of walking instead of walking forward you have to walk backward because the only way to do it maybe is to drag it behind you you cannot walk in forward and you have an endless penis in the front of you imagine this penis because you're walking forward is going to go maybe inside the cave maybe it's going to go inside something you don't want to be there uh maybe a pig he is making bend over or something i mean uh, an endless penis and you are talking about a fraud i mean how the muslims how funny you muslims are why you don't why, why you don't want to be serious what kind of a prophet he promised you one mile women ass by the way I noticed that the prophet here is saying something truthful we cannot compare between big ass and small ass obviously big ass will win I mean okay imagine you are a man and you have many enemies like me I have a lot of people hate me to death and now I have an attack from Taliban on me how I can protect myself if I have a wife her ass is one mile all what I need to do I order her to take off her panty and then I put a lighter barbecue lighter in the front of her ass and I order her to fart and she will burn all the enemy alive boom 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 I mean this is so powerful because one mile ass and you know fart is very flammable can you imagine how much burning gas will come out However, by the way, if you come to visit me in my house, which is in heaven of Allah, we have a big sign that says no smoking. Because if the wife fart, you are dead. You are barbecue. <laughs> you cause a disaster for the whole city, man. So you better be careful. And by the way, this is a true story. Okay? Everything here we say, it's coming from Allah. As long as it's coming from Allah, it's a true story. You have to take a note, please. Yeah, take a note. But there, this is a true story. Right. If we ask Zakir Naik, why Allah Prophet he promised us endless penis and the women they will have a big huge ass like one might what he will say brother sister there's the guy his name is the Christian Prince this person he always say why Islam promised sexual organs with are very huge and very incredible first of all we are going to heaven to have something different and it's very very normal to hear that God is going to give us in tremendous penis 
You don't want to go to heaven and you have the small, tiny, whiny, lolly, nanny, whiny, uh, funny uh, penis. So Allah, because he knew our need, he is the almighty and he can make it any side he wish. He is Allah, you know, just extend it like so that is, you know. I mean, this is true. This is, must be true. No. Oh boy. I mean, Allah is making the penis endless. What's wrong with you? It is logical. It is a truthful and it makes sense. And you are telling me that Islam is not from God. What's wrong with you? I wish I can play for you the Dean Show program. I played that Dean Show many times, by the way, in my chat room. But you know, in YouTube, they can they can claim copyright over things. As you know, you know, they play this game. So this is why I'm avoiding. Uh, playing any uh, Islamic video man I cannot wait to go to this sky by the way Muhammad when he went in the sky in case you do not know for those who do not know he did ride a flying donkey all right and this donkey have two wings and the funny about Muhammad's story he went to the seven heaven and he came back but he never described to us how the sky feel I mean did he say that like, he felt that he have no weight because he went and came back? Did he say that he saw the earth like a globe or like the ball? No. Uh, did he say anything about uh, fact in, in the sky? No, He this guy, he was riding a donkey and the donkey was flying to the seven heaven eleven. He never mentioned anything about how the, the earth looked like. Actually, in the Quran, Muhammad he confirmed that the earth is a flat. And, you know, uh, flat Earth is a proven scientifically. Okay, if you go on YouTube, you will find tons of videos speaking about the Earth being a flat. I'm, I'm serious, you know. Yeah, and then now in the year 2018, not only Muslims they do that. There is even some. Okay, let me show you how they found the Earth is a flat. All right. In my last trip, you know, uh, you know, I, I went in a trip. I don't know if I told you. I went to Argentina, and then we crossed the border to North Korea. When we arrived to North Korea, uh, we crossed the borders from there. We know we did. Uh, we we did, like we stopped to say hello to Jim Bing Bong Jing Kong. You know, this guy, the fat boy. And then we went to the. Uh, we crossed the borders, and right away we found ourselves in the North Pole. Because it's North Korea, you know, think about it. It's North Korea. Next to it is going to be what? North Pole. All right. So in the North Pole, we notice that the Earth there is a flat. All right. And look with me. The picture in front of you is going to prove the theory correct. This is ice. It is totally flat. And by the way, this is a true story about me meeting Jing Kong, Jing Kong, Jing Kim Mo Ki there, you know. Uh, he was eating barbecue, by the way. And actually, I, I will confirm to you something about my meeting with him, but I'm, I don't want to exaggerate. This guy, even he stood up and he told me to say, please don't forget to my give to give my best regards to Mr. the President of USA. Which is at that time was Saddam Hussein, you know, to Saddam Hussein. What was the president of USA at that time? I don't know. Saddam Hussein is better. Anyway, so he told me to say hello to Saddam Hussein, the president of USA at that time. And I said, sure, sure. Hey, Kim, Jim, Wim, Wim, I will do that. Now, going back to the story, everything in the Quran and everything in Islam, it makes sense, not like other religions. Heaven. Even asses, even penises. By the way, the funny about Muhammad, he never mentioned the size of the balls. Like he said that the penis will be endless, but he didn't say about the pole. Imagine, I mean, the balls. Imagine your penis is endless, but your balls is like, I mean, they will not even be where we can find them. I think Muhammad, he missed that. We need to add it later to the hadith. All right. Uh, do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? Do you have a comment?
any Muslim would like to call us and do you have a comment? Do you accept? Do you reject? Do you say something? Feel free, my friend. You know, express yourself. All right. And by the way, one of the scientific fact too, we don't want to change the topic we were talking about. I mean, look, when you talk about Allah amazingly, you jump from a topic to topic like a monkey. We were talking about Las Vegas and hotels, a river of wine, and girls and women and boys, and suddenly we find ourselves speaking about flat earth and North Korea. That's beautiful. This is this is one of the beautiful things about Islam. It's exactly as the Quran. One verse is speaking. Did you see yesterday? There's a video made by a woman. She is paid by Muslims speaking out that Allah is the first one who discovered that the human being roots is coming from Africa. And how she discovered that, according to the Muslim who made the video for her, that Allah he swear by fig. What? Allah swear by fig, and this is the proof that African is coming. I mean, we are coming from Africa. What does this have to do? This she said, a writer he said that. Uh, uh, the fig is one of the most nourishment uh, food was for from the beginning of mankind and this was Africa <laughs> must be Allah talking about that we are coming from Africa I mean this the logic of Muslims is beyond imagination super intelligence very sharp whoops I just cut myself every time I say sharp I cut myself I don't know I think it's Allah doing something to me look I cut myself I say sharp again oops, 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 cutting me I cannot say sharp. Oh, it hurt my friend, don't say the word beep, which means sharp. Oh, I cut myself. Uh, by the way, do you know that the prophet of Allah, he described to you how Allah is going to cut your skin in the heaven of Allah? And he, how, he, how he will make you a barbecue? According to the Quran, and it's funny, it's in chapter 69. Hmm. You. Chapter 69. Speaking that Allah will insert in the anus of the one he don't like, a big a huge a chain all right and he will extract that chain from his mouth and this chain every ring of it is in the size of the whole iron in the whole world i mean how big this anus man to fit all this iron every ring of this chain have equal of iron of all the iron in the world i think muhammad don't you think you are exaggerating little bit little bit Ah, let it go. Come on. Allah say the truth. We go back to Las Vegas. Guys, why you are not in, uh, inviting your friends? Why we have only? We don't have even 200 people in the chat. Yesterday, I saw a woman doing unboxing. Unboxing. Unboxing for what? For a panty. She have a 3 million. Come on. Guys, Imagine if Allah he sent me some of those versions and She do unboxing in the camera when I am talking How many Muslims will watch my video? I guarantee you not only the Muslims 1.1111999, 1 you know Muslim billion Muslim they will watch all all the scam back in the world. They will be watching your video and All of them they will be having uh, masturbation all right Unboxing. Hello, guys. Today I'm going to show you unboxing. I got a new underwear. Okay. Now, please don't forget to subscribe here and click like if you like to see more. And by the way, I have Patreon. If you like to make a donation or send me a gift to make more back unboxing for panties. I mean, this is amazing, man. If you think I'm joking, I'm not joking. You want to show you? Okay, hold on, hold on. You guys, you think I'm joking? This is what business is about, not my videos. I mean, who care for the videos I make? Who care for a video? Oh boy. Oof. Just to show you, Shukoi. Just to show you. Oh boy. I'm going to give you an example of how many of you I get and how many of you they get. All right. All right. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I don't know if I should show you this. How many of you is over the age of six years old? Because as you know, in Islam, you have to be mature. You know what I mean, right? 
1 million, 2 million, 124,000. I don't want to show you. I want to I want to watch alone. Guys, can I call you later? I, I like this. I, I think I'm going to hang up and go watch those videos. Look at this girl. She have a panty and she is putting it in the front of the camera. I mean, look at this, man. Who is going to spend time with those guys talking about Islam? This is boring. Look at this. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's that's amazing. That's so beautiful too. And you know, yeah. Uh, the ultimate Zaful bikini try in howl. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? All right. What is this? Uh, I'm not going to show you. Okay, I'm not going to share with you because you don't deserve this. This is only for good people. I'm telling you, I'm not going to share this with you. You are not qualified. You are not. You cannot. I cannot share with you any of this. All right. All of this can be found in the heaven of Allah, and you can enjoy it more and more. Look at this man. Three millions. Three millions of you. I mean, sometimes you feel like you want to commit suicide, me. Two million of you for somebody. Okay, look at this. Bikini boxing. Five months ago. What? Bikini boxing? What? <laughs> uh, uh, let me change the title of my video okay 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 body sweet unboxing 100,000 K 312 unboxing my bikini okay one month ago 3.7 million one month ago guys look at this look at this I mean isn't it this is amazing so beautiful and you tell me and you try to explain to me why Allah he promised a lot of sex look at this this video St. Patrick Day St. Patrick Day I mean look at this it is St. Patrick's Day but she is unboxing bikinis mm. 3.7 million of you one month ago I mean obviously life is fair 3.7 million let me divide this hold on stop looking I saw you. you you are married come on and even she is not even a good looking what a crazy man okay hold on 3.7 3.7 million all right one month ago that's mean we divide to 30 3 7 Divide to 30. That means she get every day 123,333333333. Imagine a day. What this woman she got a day for unboxing her panty is more than I'm going to get maybe in six months for this video or maybe a year in one day. 3.7 million of you for panty and sometimes people they say to me why you are upset man I mean nothing make me upset are you kidding me I mean everything is amazing this is why Muhammad he knew and he understand that sales is does matter sales of sex sexuality in Islam and this is what my coming book will be about Soon is going to be out just wait for it is the main point of Islam if we take sexuality you see those uh, uh, 30 uh, thinker who made uh, a request to change and to delete the Quran or to delete verses from the Quran they ask to take the uh, let us say uh, uh, the hateful verses but the fact you do not need to take the hateful verses you need to take the sexual verses and then nobody will hate anyone because Muslims they do jihad not because they want to go and do jihad and die they want to go and do jihad to, so they can get the sex 
if we can delete the sexual promises of Islam, there's nothing left in Islam. Because then nobody will do jihad and nobody want to kill the Jews and the Christians and the Hindus and the Buddhas. All of this is just for one reason. It is about sex. This is the truth. Why a person want to join Al-Qaeda and commit suicide bombing? Because you want to have the versions. He's sharpening his penis. This is the truth. Hateful verses alone is not the motivation. You have always to think about the motivation. So those are 300 uh, 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 like uh, uh, people who they are asking to delete verses from the Quran and they are asking the authority of Egypt as they are as if they are the one who can do that, which is very funny. Then is the point. The problem with Islam and the violence of Islam, not because of the verses teaching violence, it is because the promises behind the violence, which is sex. And as you see, we are showing you that when you speak about sex, the second you say sex, people come. 3.7 million watch a video of a woman, she is doing what? She is wearing a panty and unboxing M a panty. Muhammad, he knew very well that sex motivation is the real motivation to go and die. So suicide bombing is forbidden. Where? Where he get this from, Mr. Young? Guys, Mr. Young, he's a Muslim. He says suicide bombing is forbidden. Do you want me to prove it to you from the Quran? Mr. Young, do you want me to prove to you from the Quran that suicide uh, bombing is halal? Hmm. What do you say? Who is a Muslim want to call me and I will prove to you live on air that suicide bombing is even taught in the Quran? Who want to do that? Hmm? Any Muslim? It's in the Quran. It says, "Inna Allah ashtara min al-mu'minina anfusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al-jannah yuqatilun fi sabil Allah." Let us show. Let us show it in the screen. Hold on. Let us do some education. We will switch from the verse chapter number 69 because this is a very dirty verse. I mean chapter. All of it is about sex. And the name of it is 69. I mean, unbelievable. Oh boy. Okay. And and guys, look, uh, in verse number 69, chapter 69, it says, the sure reality. <laughs> this is reality. <laughs> the sure what? <laughs> it is and and what will make thee realize what is the sure reality is what will make you realize huh how we can convince you with the big penis and the big ass and this is reality you know chapter 69 chapter 69 is about inserting in the anus of the person a huge chain so the sure reality and what is the sure reality and how we can make you recognize the sure reality the sure reality is about reality and the reality and, and you read the rest there's nothing there guys the thamud and the ad people branded as false stunning calamity but but there's no proof of those people are exist even what do you mean sure reality? Those people they never witnessed them. Who are who is a Thad and Amud? And he's talking about reality. Anyway, let it go, let it go, let it go. <clears throat> if we go here, this is the motivation of killing in Islam. This is where the source of violence and killing. If you go here in chapter 9, verse number 11, 111, 
and this is the Muslim translation it says Allah has purchased of the believer their presence Allah he purchased you know you sell yourself to the devil and their goods for they are in return in return do you see it what is in return what in return return for what a return of dying and killing is the garden which is full of women and boys and jewelries they you see here the full translation it says they fight in his cause and slay and are slain so what is the what is the price of paradise in Islam is to slay and to be slain not only to be not only you know you have to slay it's more important than being slain you slay first so this God the vampire the God of Islam he will not take you to heaven <clears throat> unless you sell yourself to him he purchase you and return it's an it's a business it is a pure business business is business nothing personal here he don't care who you are he don't care what's your name he don't care where I came you from he care that he purchase you you sell yourself out to the devil and then you are a devilish man you go and your target is to slay anyone don't accept Muhammad and if you slay people then you deserve the garden now suicide bombing is approved in this verse why because here it's guaranteed you will be slain and you will be slain do you know guys what I'm, I'm saying what what the verse saying and he slay and will be slain in normal war not necessarily if you slay someone you will be slayed too are we are we following in normal war you might go to war and you might attend many war but you don't die not necessarily if you join a war you will die not everybody joined the war not every soldier he go in war he die Here the verse saying it clearly, and this is the Muslim uh, scholars, they use this verse, and this is a, this is an education for the ignorant who do not know Mr. Young, who said it's forbidden Islam. That's a lie. This verse is confirming suicide bombing because this is the only scenario for you to kill and kill. Otherwise, the others is optional. It might happen, it might not. Here it's confirmed. So a side bombing happened between Muslims young not in Somalia a lot it happened everywhere can you name for me one country there was no suicide bombing in it by Muslims so what do you mean Somalia anyway that is the truth and this is what is behind violence in Islam is not really the order of killing you see if we take if we take here from this verse and I hope people they are listening carefully if we take from this verse the promise of the garden and what is inside the garden do you think the Muslims really will go and commit suicide and they will kill no people like to people like to live living death is not is not normal nobody like to die those people they are desperately want to die so they can go to the garden which is full of naked women and their vagina is waiting for them this is the truth always if you want to investigate a crime the first thing you need to do is to investigate the motivation are we following the motivation is behind all the crimes and crimes the purpose of them is not the crime it is the motivation we need to see what is the motivation for the crime people don't commit a crime just to do a crime there is a motivation we need to find it and the motivation of the crimes in Islam behind it is the promises of naked women virgin who they are their vagina never been touched and each time even you have sex with them Allah he put his finger there in their vagina and he make them virgin again that is the truth the motivation of a whole religion of Islam why I need to believe in Allah to get the vagina to get the, the naked boys 
to get a river of wine otherwise Allah is not interesting to anyone they never saw him they never met him they never heard him who is Allah so the whole purpose of this cult is how I ignite your sexual desire you see the Quran is a book concentrate in certain things now let us make it simple if you are a new by the way here don't forget to subscribe because you will like what we do here this is a channel of knowledge we don't do blah 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 like many if we go in the Quran what we will find in the Quran we will find the following motivation number one motivation let us switch from Arabic to English number one motivation six and then the six have a branches the first branch of sex is a promise in you two kind of sex <clears throat> six with versions which Allah he made just for you to F excuse my language but I'm saying the truth and then six with women who already you slept with which means they are not virgins none virgins and then the two sex of a branch or branch of sex they have additional branch because here there is virgins but we did not mention if they are male or female the branch extend the one about the virgins to two branches A branch of six with female and then a branch of sex with young boys Yeah, sorry, the mistake there in the grammar. You know, English is my second language, always I make mistakes. So, young boys, female, virgins, non virgins. That is the first promise. Muhammad, he knew that uh, uh, people, they have all kind of uh, fantasy. And the fantasy have to be fulfilled in order to make those men die for me some they like boys some they don't like even you know uh, 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 females however the the version here is two section male and female and non versions is two section two it can be male let us go the non version it can be male and it can be female and by the way everything here we we say we can prove it anything anything male and female How we can prove the male and the female promise for sex in heaven? Do you remember the hadith where Muhammad he say that in the heaven there is a market which there is no buying nor selling except images 
let me take a snapshot for this one so we can do a recall later hold on well muhammad he said in the hadith let us go there he said that in heaven of allah there is no buying there's a market and this market has no buying nor selling except except for what except for images images of what images of men and women let us get the hadith if any of you like to learn more about Islam don't forget I have many books in amazon.com and so on more books will be published it's my books is a treasure of reference so feel free to grab your copy or if you like to give it to a friend or a son or a daughter and this is how you support what we do by the way either by buying my books or donation and if you don't like to give donation you can send us some versions we accept all kinds of nation <laughs> and by the way the versions have to be uh, like certain quality I will tell you about it later all right <clears throat> Let me find the hadith for you. Oof, 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 oof. All right. Read with me carefully. This is how we prove that Islam is a bisexual heaven. It is a bisexual heaven. Indeed. And remember here who is the one is talking for sure the Muslims will say to you this is weak who care well, by the way even the weak hadith is accepted weak hadith in Islam is accepted you can go search for a video made by Sheikh Hamza who is very supposedly trustworthy for the Abdul and they invite him to every conference and he is explained to them that stop attacking the weak hadith for weak hadith is it pass. I'm going to quote from exactly what he said. It pass. It did not funk. Go search right for it now. Weak hadith, Sheikh Hamza. Muhammad he said, indeed, in the paradise, and notice with me here, Muhammad is using the word indeed. In what? Indeed. He did not say maybe. Indeed. In the heaven of Allah, there is a market. So what we have in the heaven? The first thing we will notice in this heaven, there's a market. When we say market, it's mean where you buy things. Market is not for free. Just take a note. So in the heaven of Allah, not everything for free. This is why Muhammad, he promised the Muslim man that he will be 10 times richer than any king of this earth. 10 times more rich. What you would do with the money? Now we will see. Which is there is no buying nor selling except which mean there is buying and selling but the buying and selling it's only for one except uh, one product so there is no buying nor selling except what is the product images of men and women and now okay what we will do with those images this is the first fiction movie ever about sexuality images of men and women so whenever whenever a man desire an image he enter it enter it to do what to have sex with it desire what what you, what you desire you desire the image of what image of men and women so here you know uh, i don't know how uh, you know some people they are they're fast thinkers sometimes sometimes people are slow it's okay the product is images located in a market the market is in paradise and there is buying and selling for one product which is images again and the images are images of men and women but the customers are only men. 
Do you see it? There's only one kind of customers. There's no female customers because if there is a female customer, that will explain why the image is for men. You know? But the customers are only men. There's no female customer. So here now, we discover that this is, must be a bisexual promise. For the customers, only men, yet the images are images of male and female. Do you see it? And when the man who is the customer, he desire an image, he enter it, and he have sex with it. So Islam, with no question, there's no doubt, Muhammad promote that in the heaven of Allah, you will be a homo or bisexual, and you will be if in everybody, and everybody will be if in you. Because here, not necessarily, and excuse me for using the word therefore, this is what it is. This is not about love. This is about a pure if in physical action. It's an image of a person you never met. It's not like an image of a person you love or, you know, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bazaar. It's a, it's a Playboy magazine. And the Playboy magazine is not for girls only, have images of men and women. So any, any image you as a man, you like, you jump in it and you have sex with it. You cannot find this in Las Vegas. There's nowhere in any hotel in Las Vegas will provide you a market or a bazaar and the bazaar have images and then when you like the image you jump in it i remember when i was serving in the army uh, uh you know working with the army i i uh, uh sometime our airplane stop you know like there is a st stop and the army pay for it i mean they reserve for you they do everything so you have where in a hotel you go in the hotel in the public hotel when you go in the bathroom for men there's like a shelf like a concrete shelf you know uh, like a marble or whatever so in that shelf you will find thousands of brochures and cars thrown there by pimps to call those numbers and get your whore all right you call the number they will send you human trafficking this is exactly human trafficking and usually they bring people from this is a mafia work you know they bring people from poor countries uh, 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 last time I was in Las Vegas it was a long time ago. Uh, I think at that time it was mostly from uh, East Europe, poor countries, you know, like those countries. They abuse those girls who they are desperately trying to get money. They bring them, they are so beautiful, and they force them into sex sexuality. Uh, and human trafficking is existing everywhere in the world. This is not, you see, in America, the government fight it as much as they can, but still you cannot fight, they cannot stop it. It's, it is major business. This is how a human being is ugly and disgusting. He abuse other human being and he forced those women into sexuality and into the business of sex. And, you know, and then they get AIDS and then they, they might get killed and throw them in the dumpster. And, you know, it's very disgusting. Human being is capable of a lot of evil. I saw in the news, I don't know if you saw it, a guy from Denmark, and he was an inventor person. I don't know if you heard the news about him. Uh, hold on. Just to show you that Muhammad is not unique. Until today, we have a lot of Muhammad. Nothing changed. Muhammad was not one of his kind. If this person, he got his hand, or let us say, uh, in some followers and make them believe that he is a prophet, he can do more. Let me search for it. Then uh, Mark. Let us see if I can find you. All right. All right. Look at this guy. This is uh, ABC Net A. AU uh, news you see the link there the name of the news Danish inventor denies killing journalist Kim Wall on submarine during trial however he can deny but there is tons of evidence against him what this guy supposedly he did 
he invited this journalist to his submarine and then he is he is the kind who invite torture during sex and this woman supposed he is coming to do an interview not to have sex with him so he liked to rape and this is why we see Muhammad he is a person who enjoy it you see the idea of a woman she is always virgin that is the idea about hurting women because what is the point each time I sleep with the women she is going to turn to be virgin you know what I mean what women she would experience when you have sex with her when she is virgin pain so why the man he just slept with the women and she is supposedly now is one of his sex slaves he enjoy it and he like it more and Allah he make her virgin again and again that because the cult of Islam promoting the idea of enjoying torture and hurting the Quran in chapter 4 verse number 34 it says if the women disobey you or you fear disobedience what you do you beat them so I can beat my wife in order to force her into sex and that will make the sex more exciting especially for the perverted men in the heaven is not different in the heaven I will make the pain differently for those women women they are going to be virgin each time you sleep with them they will be virgin again and what is the special joy the man he will have from a virgin again if this is fake because this is not a real virgin I just step with her what the point except painful again so this man according to the news he cut her throat who is accused of torturing a wall before he either cut her throat or strangled her on the submarine okay poor women poor stupid women I mean why in the world you go with this guy in a submarine a man you do not know and this is a great example and teaching for women not to go and be alone with people you never you know you know you don't know you know some women they are very naive they like okay I know there is some people they go and they have dating and eh, this is your business not of my business but going with the person you do not know you are exposing yourself to extreme danger he might be a maniac he might be a crazy man just yesterday I saw the news they arrested a guy who, who used to be an ex-police in California he murdered 12 people at least he raped between 45 to 47 women. So Muhammad is not the only one in that field. He have he have a lot. We have a lot of Muhammad like him. There is many copy of Muhammad who have a mental sickness and illness of killing and torturing. When Muhammad he cut a woman two pieces, her name is Umm Qurfa, by tying her legs to two camels, and he ordered the camels to split a life. What Muhammad was enjoying? We should ask those questions, because you see, okay, I let us say I am a person who is angry for my enemy. Let us say I capture a, a member of ISIS who killed all my family. What I will do to him now? I'm not going to cut him to pieces. I'm not going to burn him alive. I'm not going to record him in a camera. This is a religion of torture, a religion who encouraged torture. And actually the Quran confirmed that. The Quran says, قَاتِلُوهُمْ يُعَذِّبُهُمُ اللَّهُ بِأَيْدِيكُمْ Tell them, Fight them and kill them, but before that, Allah He is torturing them by your hand. By your hand. Let me show you. Here we go. Qatiluhum yu'adhibuhum Allahu bi aidikum. Chapter nine, verse number fourteen. Muslim translation.
you see here the Muslim false translation says and Allah will punish them by your hand that's false the word you are mean torture mean what torture they are lying to us this is not what the verse in the Quran is saying chapter 14 sorry uh, chapter 9 verse number 14 if we go here let me show you the other translations all translations Uh, 9.14 and this is all is Muslim pure translation we have nothing to do with them here this guy he said punish this guy he said punish look what this guy said God will chase this them at your hand continue Allah you see more honest translation here Allah will torment them by your hand and he may lead them so what the purpose of this fight is not only to kill them is to torture and to him the Muslim they will enjoy it in different verse in the Quran Muhammad he said hmm? That when you torture them, that will reveal the anger in your chest. It's for your benefit. It is for your benefit. Let me show you. Uh, let us see. Actually, in the same verse. Why I'm going to different verse? Eh, it's my mistake. It, because same verse is, say, is saying the same. If we go in the same verse, look what it says here. I do not need to look for a different verse. Read with me what the, what the verse is saying. So you torment them at your hand and humiliate them and give you victory over them and heal the breast of the believing. So when you torment those people, Allah will make you finally feel comfortable. Your breast, you have a lot of hate for those people. How you can overcome your hate, which is bothering you to have in your chest. You want to let it go. How you let it go? By torment them. So torture is one of the method to release your evil energy on that person and then that will make you feel better. Do you see it? This is the Quran. This is why Muhammad he was enjoying in the Quran cutting hands and cutting feet and crucifixion to the point Muhammad he make it as a law of his God so he said in the Quran that those who do something against Allah what we do hmm? we cut their feet from opposite direction and their hands which mean we cut the left hand with the right foot or the right foot with the left hand. In the majaza uladina you haribun Allah or a sula who was on a fill or the facade and you to do or you slow or to cut to ID him or all together. Translation chapter five, verse number thirty three. The punishment of those. Who wage war against Allah and wage war against Allah by the way me me myself now I am waging war against Allah so according to Muslim if I live in Saudi Arabia they will cut my hands and cut my feet and crucify me and Muhammad actually if I can show you the story Muhammad he put nails in the fire Muhammad he put nails in the fire supposedly the story says that a bunch of guys they killed the shepherd who is a Muslim shepherd and they themselves they were Muslims and they killed the shepherd and they decide to run away from Muhammad 
Muhammad he sent his men they chased them they brought them back and Muhammad he crucified them he cut their hands and before he do that he put heated nails in fire he put the nails in fire and he put it in their eyes can you imagine how filthy disgusting this man is he enjoy torture this is why in the Quran in chapter 69 is speaking about inserting chain in the anus of a human being I mean what kind of God do you want to do that anus this is a sexual torture this is not about just torture anymore it's about sexual torture so this God he enjoy it to push something in someone else anus and hurting him All right So what we will do with those people? What we will do with those people? If you go to the story here, there's a there's a book. It's called Asbab al Nuzul, which means the reason for the verse to come down. You will see, Muhammad, he explained, or the Muslims they explain what he did to them. Read with me carefully, please. This is not my word. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. When they were captured and they brought to him, to him to who? Muhammad. He cut off their hands. Okay. Hands? He cut all the hands? So now we have people who have no hands. And feet. So now we have people who have no hands, no feet. And he gogged their eyes. Imagine how disgusting, filthy this creature, his name is Muhammad. Can you believe how filthy he is? If this guy or those guys, they kill the man, kill them. Supposedly death for the killer. No problem. Uh, they deserve it actually if they, if they kill somebody I don't I'm not against uh, Execution for somebody kill somebody actually I sponsor that Because it's not fair that somebody is dead in the grave and the criminal he go to jail and he enjoy his shish kebab meal And you give him a computer and an internet and then after 7 20 years he go out of jail and he have his life again free That's not fair But this man is enjoying torture in case you are not listening yet to what happened exactly or you cannot you are not getting the the, the evil image you can go watch isis videos who they are doing the same they are gogging the eyes of a human being crucifying him life in the front of you cutting his hands cutting his feet and this is now in the year 2018 17 16 14 15 this is not something from the you know 10th century ago this is what the muslim practice today even in saudi arabia in saudi arabia they practice this now as we speak we have an embassy of the filthy cult religion of Islam in, in 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 Washington DC it's called the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the funny they say to you we are going to fight Isis because they are anti-human right what about the Saudi your friends they practice all of those things from cutting hands to gagging eyes because this is what the Prophet did who is the best example for the Muslims it is Muhammad Anyone can explain to me why he gagged their eyes? I mean, those guys, they killed the guy. Okay, kill them. Why you are putting nails in their eyes? Why you are cutting their hands and their feet? What does that mean? And he let them die slowly. Look what it says here. 
and he left them in the state in that state which mean in the state of being their hands and their legs and their foot is cut off and gagged their eyes he left them in that state in Medina until they died do you see it Sa Saudi it's it's their law this is their law no this is not filthy killing for them they do be hidden every day go right now search on YouTube beheading cutting hands in Saudi Arabia you see now because everybody have a phone people they can record this is nothing new and you will not see the president of France is cutting his relationship with the Saudi no instead he sell them a Mirage airplanes Saudi Arabia is the best friend to USA because all what you need to do to be a criminal these days is to be rich and to bribe and then you can kill as much you wish and you can be anti-human as much as you wish and you can you see if you are a poor person and you break the law then all the law is upon you if I am now if I go and drive and I pass the red uh, uh, the, 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 tra the traffic you know I cross the street when it's red when I'm driving my car I will be stripped from my driver license. They will forbid me from driving, blah, blah, blah. But Hillary Clinton, with all the corruption, which is proving so easy, and the money she stole, and deleting government documents, this is alone is a crime. This alone is a crime, can go to up to five years in jail. All of this is okay. She's home. Receiving tens of millions as a bribe. She's home. She's protected. Every president in USA, he come to pass except George Bush and Reagan. Uh, I think Reagan, yeah. But anyway, all, all, every president, after he finished his presidency, sorry, before, he established his own organization. Obama organization. Obama charity. Hillary Clinton Foundation. Uh, Michelle uh, Obama uh, women uh, blah 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 the, the whole point of this foundation is just to get bribe tons of me imagine why the king of Morocco want to donate to Hillary Clinton what his business with her Did he live in he live in USA do you think the king of Morocco or the, the Al Qazafi or those guys they really care for you uh, you, you have any cancer in USA what cancer so they make organization the outside name is a good name when when the when the uh, the disaster happened in Haiti Hillary Clinton was in charge of all of that all the donation hundreds of millions of dollars and the full me me myself I made donation but I don't know is going to go to Hillary Clinton you know you go out of the store they are saying help people of Haiti you know you help and then we found later that all this money was going to Hillary Clinton. There's a video from the 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 uh, an ex uh, uh, official officer from uh, Haiti, the, the 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 country of Haiti, exposing the money she stole, and he witnessed for that, and he is willing to go to court. Because you know, when you do public slandering against someone and you say he is a thief, you have to prove it, otherwise she can sue you. So corruption is exist before it's exist now and everybody he enjoy his corruption in his own way Muhammad he enjoy enjoy the corruption by money the 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 power he enjoy the torture he enjoy taking over his enemy and raping their women he enjoy cutting their hands and their eyes and stealing their money he enjoy everything is evil in the yet he is called the prophet of God. Call him, tell him to call me. Uh, this guy is asking me to call him. Are you sure? Okay, let me call you. Nightmare, guys. Nightmare when I when I when I talk. Hmm. Okay. Maybe he want to tell us about Asiratu. I'm calling you. You are not online. Why are you not answering? Why you say call me and you are not online?
we want to show you an example of the Muslims now this guy is a Moroccan guy and he think he can can defend Islam he's, but he's not answering why are you asking me to call you if you are not going to answer and you are even offline weird what a potato see when you when you are a prophet of God you can be anything you want you can be a pimp how are you mr. nightmare the Moroccan boy <coughs> okay Okay. What do Last you want to say? Last night you asked me to find a, to find the video where you say you have uh, degrees in in Islam. Okay, go ahead. I found the video. Okay, play it for us. I want to hear okay. it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna send the the title to the video. It's right there. No, no play, it, play, play it, play it, play it for us. Play no, it for, no, no, no I send the title. No, play you it, play it. For no, don't waste my time. Play it. I wouldn't hear it. I, you are talking, so we can laugh together. How how I'm gonna do that? Play it. You cannot hear it. You cannot play. Why not? Why not? Okay, you can. We can hear it. No, because because I have the kid. I, I, okay, I have Abdul, kid. I have I have no I have no time for kids. Now. No, you, you say you, you get you get called. You play for us. You I see, can't do it. You see, you, you are an idiot. Now you call I me. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I do will. It. I will torture you the same as your prophet. He enjoyed. Torturing. Uh, here is the. Here is the. I. I. I send you the title, and you play for us. Why don't you do it? Here is the title of the video. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Funny so, hadith so, so and you, how to choose. I, I want you to do this. I want you to. I want you to load this video in your channel. Can you do that? No, I can't. Do why? This. Why? You don't want people to see how that uh, Christian prince is a liar? No, why don't you do that? I, why I, you don't want to do that? I mean, why, why you don't want to do that? Close. Why you don't want to do that? I can't. I can't download the, the, the videos. You can. You can. No, you can. You can. Don't stop lying. You can. No, do. no, I can't. I, I, I will I teach you how. I will teach you how. You can go right now to YouTube and a, a, a type how to download the video. There is tons of uh, of explanation how to download the video. I want you to download the video. Make a channel just for me. What do you think? Good idea? No, I never download the okay, video from, my from one video. Okay, okay, go, go. I, I go. said, I said. Go, go, just go, just go. Stupid idiot. I say, and I said, and I will say again, I have degrees. Yes. I have degrees. I studied Islam all my life. I have a bachelor degree in Islamic law. I'm a qualified to be a judge or a lawyer in any court in the world. It's the filthy court of Islam. This is what I always I say. You are a stupid idiot, and you can go and load the video anywhere you want. If you want to understand in your way, this is your business. If you go and read my books, in the beginning of my books, or in presentation of my uh, profile in, in Amazon, it says a Christian prince is a native Arabic, native, etc., etc., and he have a, a, a degree in Islamic law, and he is qualified to be a judge or a lawyer in Islamic court. This is what I always I say. I have degrees, yes. So shut up. And you are a person who don't even have high school. And I do not need a degree to get you Muslim busted because my degree is not the reason for me to know that your filthy cult is a cult. I spend my life studying this cult and my school, in my school, they never taught me any of what I'm saying right now. Because in Islamic school, they praise Allah and they praise Muhammad and who dare even to say Muhammad was a filthy, a filthy, filthy animal. Who dare? If you question Islam right away, they give you zero. I will never even pass if I became aggressive against Muhammad. You will never get a degree. If you insult Muhammad, because any question against Muhammad is an insult, not only you will not pass the class, you will be killed in the same day. And you know that, you filthy idiot. My education have nothing to do with my degrees. You know, when I finished my degree in the in the filthy Islamic cult, my dad he said to me, uh, I, I was so excited. I called them to tell them that I finished finally. They said to me, Ah, oh, you got a degree in farting. I was so upset from my father for saying that, but he's right. What I got from this degree, teaching you how to shave under your arm. What what is a degree in Islamic law mean? There's no law. You see, people they say to me. Sharia law. There is no Sharia law. It's a gang law. Don't you see? This is Sharia law. This is a law. This is a law. It says 
that the Prophet who is the best judge for the Muslim, he put nails in the eyes of people and he screw their eyes and he enjoy it and he hid the nails in the fire and then he put it life. They are alive. This is Allah. This is not Allah. This is a gang. This is a guy who is a gang. He is a plain as wish. Uh, he do whatever he wish. And this potato, he is so desperate, he cannot answer us. And now he have a saying, you said you have degrees. Yes, I have degrees. Record me. I have degrees. Yes, you don't. Stupid idiot. We ask him play it for us so we can laugh at you. Don't you like to do torture? I gave you a chance to play it, but you coward potato. Anyway, torture is a major joy in Islam. The best of the Muhammad, and you see in the Muslim, they say to us, if you go right now and search in YouTube, they will say Muhammad is the prophet of mercy. Let me go there and, sh and show you. Hold on. Muhammad is the prophet of the mercy. There is thousands and thousands of videos about the mercy of the prophet. Look with me. This is Muslim videos. The mercy of the Prophet Muhammad. Sheikh Bilal Assad. The mercy to mankind. Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. Do you know Muhammad? The mercy of Muhammad. Mercy of Muhammad is a W. The Prophet mercy in his enemy. The Prophet mercy in his enemy. Guys, the Prophet mercy in his enemy. Mercy of the Prophet Muhammad, Sheikh Ahmad Ali. Native Dean, Mercy to Mankind, official website. Mercy toward the children, Prophet Muhammad. Mercy to entire universe, Prophet Muhammad. Mercy to mankind, Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is mercy to the world. I mean, should I continue? Millions. Millions of videos, all of them is nothing but a scam. The mercy of Muhammad is found in your Islamic books. How he put nails in the eyes of a human being, he is alive. That is the truth. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to tell us about the mercy of Muhammad? You see, the Muslim, they say to you, when Muhammad attacked Mecca, he forgive. Those are, this is his family. This is his tribe. All of them, they are tribe. They are cousin. What forgive them? <laughs> if he killed them, he's killing his family. All of them, they are family. It's a small tribe in a small village. It's called Mecca. What forgive them? Guys, focus with me. Forget about this idiot. He's a he's a he's a potato. You are a liar, like your prophet. Any Muslim would like to call us? Any Abdul, who is a brave Muslim who is a proud about his cult? He would like to call us the religion. Of the mercy the religion which is following the torture method of mercy yes nightmare what do you want what do you want okay I give you the title you play it well you know, prove me wrong. I, I have not because I want to enjoy no, it with no, you. No, no, I wanna, prove me wrong. Listen, son of Muta. Listen, wrong. son of Muta. Just, just get lost. Just get lost. Just get lost. I, I have no time for kids. Pause the title. Nobody is blocking you. People, they can go and listen to it and enjoy it. And you will see people will laugh at you. You are a stupid donkey like your prophet. 
I say to you play it for us you don't want to do it because I want to torture your life that your prophet you see your prophet he enjoy torture I want to put the nails of your prophet not in your not in your eyes I want to put them in your ass life on air the same as I did yesterday when you told me the word Asila mean juice oh, sorry you mean a sharab and then we find it's mean orgasm I want to give you orgasm but this orgasm is going to come from different location you are a stupid idiot filthy perverted man who have no courage to say the truth you remember guys yesterday go and listen to it Asila it doesn't mean uh, he is going to taste her juice it doesn't mean he is going you lie you lie to us uh, Christian Prince it doesn't say uh, Jews where Jews then we go to the dictionary which he is the one who chose for us and we find that Asila mean orgasm because the Muslim enjoy it this way you see the Muslim the Muslim will not even consider to listen to you unless you are aggressive with them those people they like certain kind of life Muhammad is good for them why because he is a sick person who torture do you see this guy is upset from showing the, he is not upset of this he is upset about me saying I have degrees do you notice he is not upset about his filthy prophet putting nails in the eyes of people. He want to show you that Christian prince don't have a master degree in Islam. He is only qualified to be a judge in Islam. Supposedly now he downgrade me. <laughs> he is not calling to say to me what you are posting in the screen is a lie. He agree with it. He have no problem. It does not affect him. For those are followers of a criminals. They love the criminal. They worship him. They, they, he is the best example. All what I am saying right now for the last two hours about the cult of Islam, from the long penis to the big ass, to torturing, to killing, to raping, he have no problem with it. He have a problem with me having degrees. This is the problem. He have no problem that he's a prophet do not know how to write how to read but he want to prove to you that i don't have a master degree in islam i have only what is qualifying me to be a judge in islam but what is higher than a judge in islam <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying those people they are following a man they themselves they say the prophet do not know how to read how to write which means if i put the word let me do this if I type the word to Muhammad, two words, I'm going to type two words to Muhammad. I will type this word. And this one. And I will say to Muhammad, which one is you? The name in the right and the or the name in the left Muhammad he will not be able to recognize which one and he might choose the one in the left but the one in the left mean donkey and this is his name so he's following a person he do not and he cannot recognize the word Muhammad from the word donkey which means he cannot recognize even how his name is written from the word donkey and yet he is complaining that Christian Prince, he don't have a master degree in Islam. He have only bachelor degree in Islam. Donkeys. He have no problem with his prophet saying that if you raised your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. He have no problem with that. You must be a donkey to believe in such a garbage. Have you ever heard of somebody is a prophet? He said to his followers, if you raised your head before the Imam finished the prayer, the Imam is the one who read the prayer. If you raised your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head a head of a donkey. He have no problem with it, but he have a problem with the Christian prince saying he have a master degree.
Read with me. Let me show you the wisdom of the problem. Just shut up, kid. I gave you a chance. You are just an idiot. Go. What a donkey. The prophet said, Is it he who raises his head before the imam, afraid that Allah may transform his head into that of a donkey or his figure face into that of a donkey? This is a prophet of God. He is not upset from that. He is not upset from his prophet saying stupid thing like this. It's true. This is a true. This nightmare, obviously, he have a head of a donkey. And the proof is the following. Each time he call us, he get himself busted. Each time he try to answer, he exposes a prophet. So the word mawadda mean love. And we go and then we check and we find that the mawadda is mentioned to the Christians. But the Muslims are not allowed to, to love the Christians. And Allah, he says, Allah spread hate and enmity between them. So what do you mean the most of people who do mawadda is the Christians? Are they people of love? Or they are people who they are the worst of the creatures. What a stupid religion. The word asila does not mean juice, it means sharab, mean drink. When we go to the dictionary which he gave us, we find that asila mean orgasm. The prophet saying, taste her juice or taste her drink, and she and he taste her drink. We ask him, what does that mean? He said, This is a metaphorical. Metaphorical for what? For sex. Since when we taste, we taste sex. What we taste, how we taste that. You enjoy it, but you don't taste it. And the dictionary of his choice confirm. He is not upset that he spent his life, he is, he is uh, I think, 50-something years old. And all his life, this donkey do not know that his God is not a spirit. He learned that from me. Life on air. This donkey accused me. You see, he is saying to you, I don't have a master degree in Islam, right? Okay. I did not say I do. And you can go watch. I said I have a degree. I have a, I have the bachelor and master degree. I am an educated person. Yes. Should I lie about having a master degree? Should I hide it? I am educated, you are not. Each time I see, I show the Muslim something, they say to me, I never heard of this before. So there's no question that I know about Islam from all of you together. All of you are a bunch of donkeys who do not know how to refute me, how to answer me, and I get you busted life. So my knowledge is not my degrees, as much it is my knowledge, which I learned by myself. In Islamic school, they teach you nothing about Islam. They teach you only the stupidity of rules and rules is not about the person who is making the rules it's about the rules itself if you want to know islam you need to know the person who made those rules and this is the person in front of us he is making fun of those stupid muslims if you go and study in islamic school and you ask the teacher how stupid this statement is they will throw you out of the school if 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 they let you go alive because this is nothing but a stupid statement this man muhammad he claimed that if you if you raise your head before the imam finish the prayer, Allah will make your head into a head of a donkey. How that can be? Unless he is making fun of you. If you go in the Quran, you will find the same. Allah threatened the Christians. That he is going to change their faces into faces of apes and donkeys and monkeys if they don't believe in Islam. Okay, none of us have such a thing. This is a proof that Allah is a liar and Muhammad is a false man. Allah is a false Muhammad, is a false man. Read with me. Chapter 4, verse number 47. Muhammad is making the same threat in the Quran. This is officially in the Quran. This is not in the Hadith. All oh, people of the book, if you don't believe in me, look what Allah will do to you. Okay, what Allah will do to us? Huh? 
Allah will change our faces the same the same he did to the Jews and, the, and, and you know before the one who broke the Sabbath what Allah he did to the Jews according to the Muslims in the Quran Allah he made them pigs and apes and monkeys so Muhammad he made a threat if you don't believe in me you Christians I will make you Allah will make you supposedly sorry uh, Allah is talking here at Muhammad Allah Allah if you don't believe in Muhammad I will make you I will make you like I will whip out your face and you I will change the way you look like so nobody even can recognize that you are a human but this has never happened not even for a single person so he threatened us that if you don't follow Muhammad I am going to change your look I will make your face the face of a donkey or a face of a mule or a face of a cockroach I am going to curse you the same as I did to the people of the Sabbath but the question here if this is a true and this is Allah he making a threat and this is a serious threat why he did not do that because this is a false God making a false prophet promise this is a prophecy Muhammad is making a prophecy about what will happen in his lifetime not later he's speaking to people who they are alive now Allah will not change their look after they die Allah will change their look in the time of Muhammad so why none of those people their look changed this donkey is not upset from all the stupidity I teach him about his religion and yet he want to make you question my knowledge my knowledge my friends speak right now as I speak I do not need any degree to prove my knowledge and I never learned anything from my degrees nothing Islamic schools are the most stupid schools ever they spend their time if you go right now to a Muslim website what is the questions about a brother a brother I, I saw a question of a guy is asking if it's okay because it's not it's not it's not right the Prophet said the uh, Allah curse the one who do nukah to his hand hmm? Allah curse the one who do nukah to his hand okay how is that nukah they said to us nukah mean marriage so what do you mean you do nukah to your hand that is masturbation so nukah is not marriage nobody marry his hand and then the guy he's asking is it okay if he asks his sister to do nukah to his hand look at this filthy it is haram to do masturbation by your hand. This is how I understand it. So now, can I ask my sister to do it? Do you believe it? This is a perverted, sick-minded religion. And nothing make them upset. All the lies this guy he did. This guy, he did not get hot and excited. Where is the promise of Allah? He will make us before we die. He will make us lose our faces. We will have different faces. Where is, you know, Christian people? They, you know, they have a, a human being look the same as everybody. Some they are, you know, very, you know, good looking. Some they are so so. Some etc. Where is the promise of Allah? Is that a serious threat from Allah, or Allah was bluffing? Is he bluffing? Who is a Muslim when I call me and tell me that Allah was bluffing? Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Look at them. So the, the method of the Muslims, they try to attack you as a person, you know? Uh, there is a guy he made an article saying Christian Prince he is using the Christians taking their donation but at that time I wasn't even asking for donation you know however the Muslims always they cannot answer you so they start and they try to attack you as a person they cannot answer to avoid Speaking about the cult founder Muhammad, let us try to divert the topic to make it about you. This is the whole point. 
but I'm not a prophet I never claim to be one I never even claim to be a good one or even priest I never but no we have to make it about you because we cannot answer about our filthy cult founder the, the man his name is Muhammad we have to divert the topic to speak about something else we cannot talk about Muhammad obviously we cannot we cannot answer his lies we cannot answer how he perverted so we have to change the direction go and post videos and make videos and attack Christian Prince Muslim they do that every day enjoy it do you remember the guy his name is Akil he made a video he want to refute me from Wikipedia when he called I said do you want to talk about it he said no <laughs> suddenly he don't want to refute me life the funny they want to refute me in their videos but they don't want to refute me when I'm talking to them Christian Prince do not know what Allah mean Allah Akbar ha, 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 ha. okay when he called me I said let us talk about it he said no 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 we don't want to talk about it why because they knew they are no match now who is a Muslim wanna call me and answer about simple question here in the front of us on the screen we don't want to change the topic was Allah bluffing when he said this a threat do he mean it or he is a stupid God who say things he don't mean Allah bluffing is he and you know the funny thing about Islam Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for doing what for fishing in Saturday for what for fishing in Saturday if you read the story about this uh, story here you will see how stupid Muhammad and whoever believe in Muhammad in this chapter speaking about actually it's, it appears in many places you know even the verse we are quoting chapter 4 verse number 47 but if we go to the front verse here it says the following chapter 7 verse 163 ask them concerning the town standing close by the sea behold they transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath. So those are Jews who live in next to the sea. Okay, what Allah did to them? Allah told them not to break the Sabbath. And Allah, he made those are fishermen. Guys, the verse in the Quran, it's explained the story. The verse in the Quran is showing us how stupid, crazy Muhammad is. Read carefully with me. For in, for on, the day of their Sabbath, their fish did come to them openly, holding up their heads. Anyone understand what does that mean? Hold on. Let me do this. I will show you the donkey Muhammad. Literally. Muhammad is a donkey, literally. All right, let us go and find the picture of the ocean because sometimes people they are they don't understand what we are saying. Yes, sometimes they don't understand. So, the best way to, to bring it to their mind is to draw an image. All right. Let us find an image. All right. So this is the ocean. Let us assume the picture in front of us. Let us show you first. Muhammad is speaking about Jews who live next to the beach, next to the seashore. All right. Allah. He make the fish appear to them only every Saturday. This is what the verse in the Quran is saying. The verse in the Quran is saying, 
that the fish come to them and they put their head up uh, 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 we are here -la 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 -la. you are a Jew you cannot fish us we are here -ra 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 -ra. you see it this is not my words Muhammad saying in his God saying for on the day of their Sabbath their fish did come to them openly holding up their heads is it me who's saying that Abdul Muhammadan is it me who's saying that the fish come in the day of Saturday only and they are holding head their head up and they say ah, 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 ah. you cannot fish us it is Saturday la 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 what you can do about it is that a real story So the poor Jews are here in the front of the beach and they are hungry. The whole week the fish doesn't come. The whole week. Then only in the day of Saturday, Allah He sent the fish. And the fish she jumped from the water. This is the head of the fish. Hmm? And the fish is saying to the Jew, you cannot fish me, ta -ta 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 -ta. you cannot fish me, you cannot fish me. And the Jews are so hungry. Like what? I mean, this is not even fair. We are hungry, we are fishermen. And the fish, they keep doing that every Saturday. Every Saturday, not only one fish, thousands, millions of fish, they come and they say the same. Ah, 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 you cannot fish us. Ah, 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 ah. And those poor Jew in the front of them, they can grab them. They are coming to the shore. They are not even in deep sea. They are coming to them in purpose. Ah, 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 you see me, you cannot fish me. This is a story taught to us by God. The one is talking and telling me this story is God. I mean, if this is your God, Mickey Mouse is God. If this garbage talk is the talk of God, so what is comedy movie is about? And then those poor Jews, because they are hungry and they are desperate to eat. Because remember, the Quran confirmed that only in Sabbath the fish come. And who is the one who made that happen to them? Allah. Allah bring the fish only in Sabbath. So those poor Jews, they go in the sea six days a week. In the Sabbath, they don't go because it's Sabbath. Six days a week, Allah He make the fish hide. This is Allah. Come on, He's you know, this is Hitler. So, seven days a week, they have six of them they can fish. Allah He make the fish come to them in the Sabbath and they say to them, ah, 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 You cannot fish me. Now, the Jews get hungry, they have kids to feed, they have a family, they need to survive, they are fishermen. What they do? They decide to fish in Saturday. Ah, 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 you fail in the trap, and then what Allah He did to them? Because they fish in Saturday because of His stupid game, Allah He made them pigs and monkeys. And this donkey, and every donkey who believe in Islam, he believe in this garbage that God He made a human being, a pig, and a monkey for fishing in Saturday. You see, the God of Islam did not make any human being a pig for raping a woman. But fishing is a big problem for Allah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fishing is a problem. You cannot fish in Saturday. You can rape a woman in Saturday. 
you can rape a woman in, in Monday, Sunday, but don't don't fish in Saturday. This God, He never made someone who rape a child a goat. Punish him, make him a goat, make him a monkey. Let us see that. Allah will make you a monkey for fishing in Saturday. I mean, do you see how how uh, how it makes sense this punishment and this story? So Allah, He made the fish. Come to them only in Saturday, which means this is his dirty game. It's not their fault. And the funny in the Quran it says that if somebody he ate what is forbidden because he is hungry, it is halal. If a believer, if you go to chapter 3, verse number 7, you will see that. You can eat and it's halal for you to break even the law of God if you are going to die, if you need to survive. So how come here he punished them for being monkeys? The Muslims are allowed to eat pork. The Muslims are allowed to eat everything is forbidden if they are hungry. This is why the Muslims don't want to talk about their stupid cult. They try to talk about you. You talk about Islam, they speak about George Bush. You talk about Islam, they speak about Trump. You talk about Islam, they speak about America, about the CIA. But they will not let you speak about Islam because they cannot answer and Islam is a stupid religion. That's the whole idea. Now look how many Muslims are listening to us right now. Why not a single Muslim he want to answer? Who is a Muslim believe in this garbage? He is willing to call me. Anyone? And by the way, as long Allah, he made the Jews, pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday. Do you know that in Israel, they have a huge festival in Saturday for gays and lesbians? How come Allah, I mean, Allah, he killed, he make them pigs and monkeys in Saturday for fishing in Saturday, but he will not make them pigs and monkeys for being gays and homo. You know what I mean? Why Allah is in action and he's so upset for a bunch of poor Fishermen they fish in Saturday and he made them pigs and monkeys, but he is not there when in Tel Aviv They have a huge or in Haifa. They have a huge festival for gays and lesbian in Saturday This is how you prove a false God If this God is true, that's mean if Allah Allah is saying anytime you do something in Saturday, I will make you a pig and a monkey Go and see the Jews the Jews today most of them. They don't care for Sabbath They don't care and why Allah he care for Sabbath for the Jews But he don't care Sabbath for the Muslims the Muslim they claim that the Jews are Muslims. So why Allah he gave the Muslims? Not Sabbath Why Allah don't be upset? Why Allah did not say to the Muslim don't work in Friday? Uh, I guys are you getting my point? If Allah don't want the Jews to work in Sabbath if he is the same God of the God of the Muslims, why he is not telling the Muslims not to work in Friday? A Muslim, he might say to you, what about you as a Christian? What about you as a Christian? Me as a Christian, I don't have the same belief for a very simple reason. When Jesus was doing help for somebody in Sabbath, what Jesus said, he said, Sabbath is made for the man, not the man made for the Sabbath. So we as a Christian, we have a different vision of the Sabbath, but obviously your prophet is the one who have a vision that in Sabbath, you cannot do any work. Even the good one, those that want to feed their kids and they are hungry and they have seven days in the week, six days of them, there's no fish. So in which logical religion that they cannot feed their kids? So why Allah don't have a Sabbath for the Muslims? Let us say Sabbath for them because the word Sabbath, by the way, not necessarily means Saturday. Some naive ones, they think Sabbath is a word means Saturday. Sabbath have nothing to do really 
to be literally the word Saturday. Sabbath is any day is given to God. That is what Sabbath is. So it can be Saturday, it can be Monday, it can be Tuesday. It is a day is designated for God. And it can be a word used as Saturday. So why the Muhammadan Allah is not punishing them for fishing in Friday? Hmm? Why Allah did not make the Muslims pigs and monkeys? Why Allah don't make the Jews today pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday? I used to have a Jewish neighbor. He go in the weekend for fishing. And once he came back and he opened the car of his the door of his truck. I was looking at him. He just came from fishing. It was Saturday. I was expecting to see his legs covered by hair. He was wearing a short. Because Allah will make him a monkey. There's no way Allah will not keep his promises. Can you show me one Jew who did fashion in Saturday? One, just one. Allah made him a pig and a monkey. Any Muslim? This is a very stupid cult. It's called the cult of Islam. They try to blind you by making videos about scientific miracle of the Quran. Go and read my books and laugh and die laughing from what is called science in the Quran. You know the funny that the atheist they want to prove to us that we used to be monkey and we became a human the muslim they want to prove to us that we used to be human or became monkeys who is the donkey between them actually muhammad is so confused about the jews sometimes he thinks the jews is lizard yes lizard this is why he refused to eat lizard why because he think they are jews Let me show you. Let me find the hadith. I mean, the prophet obviously he knew what he's talking about. Come on, this is the prophet. Are you kidding me? Prophet. Prophet knows best. All right. Let me show you. Muhammad he noticed according to the hadith that lizard they have five fingers. I don't know that lizard they have five fingers. Really? Mm, okay, let's see. Read me carefully, guys. This man is is mentally ill. There's no explanation. Either he is mentally ill or he's mad or something wrong. We were in army. Muhammad now in army. He's busy. And now with Allah Messenger, S-A-W-S-B-M-F-M -S station. Okay. And what happened when we are in the army? What happened? Let us see what happened. I roasted. We got some lizard. And I roasted one lizard and brought it to the messenger of Allah. And place it before him. He took a stick and he counted its fingers. Then he said, A group from the children of Israel were transformed into animals and uh, of the land. And I do not know which animal it was. He did not eat it. What? We have a prophet who is the best example of intelligence and science for the funny Abdul claiming that lizard are Jews. And he noticed that the fingers of the lizard, they are the same as the fingers of the Jews. 
If you don't believe me, go and check the picture of Benjamin Netanyahu. He has fingers like a lizard. Somebody is asking me to call Zach and Nick. We can do that. We can do that. Let us see if we can call him. But I know it's, it's late now because Zach and Nick, he have a different timing zone, you know. But we can call. But I'm not sure what... Uh, what phone I should call? Which one? Is it America? Brother uh, uh, Zach and Nick, uh, I, I, we have a question for you, if you don't mind, about the lizard and the Jews. Uh, do you believe it or not? I was seeing a dream. And the dream is what about lizard? And it's amazing how Allah He walk in a miraculous way. You are asking me about lizard. I was dreaming about lizard. So look like we were having a some kind of sexual contact in the dream. The question you are asking me about about lizard. Let me first clean this booger from my nose. Okay. The question about the, 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 the uh, first of all, first of all, I think I think you heard this question from a guy, his name is a Christian friend. This guy is a coward. He claimed that he have a master degree, but he don't have a master degree. And I can prove it for easy. If you ask Christian friends, can you count for me from one to 10? He will count only from one to 11. He will not be able to count the number 10 because simply he have two tooth, they are broken. And this is exactly how happened to the Prophet Muhammad because all his teeth in the front, they were broken off. Going back to the topic, once upon the time, the Prophet was in a war. And a Muslim, a Muslim Abdul like me, he brought him a lizard. And lizard, my friend, they're tasty, very tasty, because the lizard in the desert, they taste differently, not like the lizard in your home. Those are different kind of lizard, and especially the one the Prophet he eat. So they brought for him yummy, yummy lizard. And the Prophet, he is so hungry, but yet he could not eat it. Because the Prophet, he have a very special IQ, not like you. What's your name, by the way? Uh, uh, don't tell me your name. I think I know your name. I think your name is the... Uh, uh, yeah, that, that name, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so they brought the Prophet, the lizard, and the Prophet, he counted the finger of the lizard. And it's very well known, and it's very well known in Pakistan, especially in India, that lizard, they speak Hebrew. So the Prophet, he noted that this lizard, he looked like Hebrew and he looked like a zoo. And actually, if you go in certain area in Saudi Arabia, you will notice that some lizard, they are wearing a small hat in the top of their head because they are orthodox lizard. So the Prophet, he noticed that those, they might be the same zoos who Allah, he pointed them and he made them into animals. So he forbid us from eating lizard. Thank you very much. I mean, that's amazing. That's that's so good. I mean, who can beat this intelligence? Nobody. And you are still suspecting that Muhammad was a mentally ill person? There's a very strong connection between lizard and the Jews. Okay, I will give you <laughs> I will give you another reason to believe that this is a true story. Let us call him again. I'm not convinced. Let us say you are not convinced. I mean myself, I'm convinced, you know. But maybe, maybe you are not convinced. I don't know. I mean, everybody have his own, uh, uh, you know, you believe, you don't believe. This is your business. You know, what I can say. All right. Let us call him back. <laughs> Why are you calling me back? Uh, brother Zach and Nick, uh, uh, some people are not convinced with the story that this is a proof that the lizards are Jews. There is something like strong and solid to prove to them that those are Jews. Okay, if you go right now and you search for a video for Benjamin Netanyahu, you will find that Benjamin Netanyahu he used to put his tongue out of his mouth every few seconds. Some people they might think that Netanyahu he is doing that because his lips is dry. 
the fact he is doing that because his ancestor they used to be littered and this is exactly what leather do what more i can prove to you it's very clear and very solid to prove now then let me leave and sleep thank you very much i mean that's that's amazing what do you want more proof benjamin netanyahu he put his tongue out from his mouth every few minutes not because his lips is a dry but because his ancestor was a lizard can't you tell that's that's amazing i feel like i'm gonna cry however the imagination of muhammad don't stop with lizard muhammad he see the jews in every meal in every animal around him to the point muhammad he claimed that the rats are jews too if we go here we will find the following <clears throat> Let us see the video. I mean, the <sighs> read with me. We are finished with the lizard. Now we move to the rats. The prophet said, and you know, guys, when the prophet said that's serious, this is a true story. I mean, obviously, it is a true story. The prophet said, a group of the Israelis were lost and nobody knows what they did. I mean, guys, those those video, those uh, those are stories Muhammad he come with, you can make them a perfect movie. I wish I'm good in, in a graphic. Listen to this. What's wrong? The Prophet said, A group of the Israeli were lost and nobody knows. Nobody knows what happened to them. But I don't see them except the whale cursed. And changed into rats. For it is commercial break. If you have a rat problems, don't forget you can call the prophet hotline. Kill your rats, even if they are fat. The prophet he described a very clear way to kill all the rats in the area by making them and forcing them to drink camel urine. If you have any problem. Call us right now and get your discount. The prophet who killed the rats for they are fat. End of commercial. That's that's amazing. I feel like I want to cry. I have I have to be honest here. My heart. My heart. I mean, this is this is scientific discovery. I was wondering where the rat is coming from, why the where the rat is coming from. I mean, how we can find out where the rat is coming from if not the Prophet of Allah? The Prophet of Allah, he have answer. So now we have lizard, they are Jews. We have rats, they are Jews. The Quran says monkeys and pigs are Jews. So look now. Let me make an make an image for you of the Jews. I wish I have like a graphic program. Anyone knows a graphic program we can use for this uh, purpose? Seriously, if anyone knows, let me know. All right. So now, based in Muhammad teaching, Muhammad discover the origin of the Jews. What is the origin of the Jews? Or what kind of Jews we can have in this earth? There is pigs. Plus rats, plus uh, lizard, lizard, lizard is wrong, it's okay, let it go. Uh, plus what? Uh, plus what? Plus, plus what? Plus what? 
uh, pigs uh, yeah monkeys sorry I forgot the monkeys man I mean how I can forget the monkey I mean what's wrong with me how I forgot something like this monkeys and you are telling me that the Prophet of Allah is not a true prophet how the Prophet he was able to discover all of these things which nobody can even imagine for a second how huh how the Prophet did that? Any Muslim can explain to us how the Prophet was able to reach into such a knowledge? Yeah, I know. Actually, leave it wrong, guys. If I, if, if I make all the English writing of me correct, it looks like some, some something fishy there. That means it's not a Christian prince talking to you. Just, just, let, let some mistakes there. It's okay. So, and you are telling me that the prophet is not a prophet this is the only prophet in the world who come with such an amazing astonishing knowledge which is proving the theory of Darwin <laughs> the difference between Darwin and Muhammad Darwin he claimed we used to be animals we became a human Muhammad he claimed that we used to be human and we became animals very close very close. I mean, it's just opposite direction. Who can, for a second, refuse this amazing, astonishing knowledge? And guys, if you are a Muslim, let me teach you how to refute the Christians about this. Because you might have some Christians say to you, like Christian prince, etc. Now I'm going to give you the antibiotic of a Christian prince. All right? So here, if we go here, hold on. Let me prove it to you. Easy way how you refute the Christians. Okay. If you look at this monkey, how we can prove as Muslims, brothers, that this monkey, he used to be a Jew. Number one, look at his hair. He did not shave his hair for a long time. That's mean he is trying to save money. And that is a clear reason to believe he was a Jew. Take number one. So number one is what? How we can prove to the Christian that this monkey used to be a Jew. Okay? He did not cut his hair. Why he did not cut his hair? Why? He want to save money. Save money. Logically, that's mean he is a Jew. I mean, how clear I can make it more than this? What's wrong with you? Do you want more clear proves it's clear what's wrong with people how many of you are convinced with this logic if you are a Muslim and you are convinced with this logic please give me one give me one not one Jew don't give me a Jew Hmm? Who is a Muslim there? He is convinced with his prophet statement that the Jews are pigs and monkeys literally and they are rats and lizard Any Muslim When you have a son you will name it Elijah Tamara you have to get married first my dear come on. I mean come on Okay Guys, can we find somebody to marry Tamara so we can have a child, his name Elijah, and then he go fishing on Saturday, and then Allah, he will make him a monkey so we can prove our theory? Who want to do that voluntarily? But by the way, you have to be a Jew because we need a Jew baby. Any Abdul? Who's Abdul want to give us an answer? I mean, what? how in the world your prophet, he come with this madness, man? The lizard, I mean, look, now I understand why the prophet, he said the lizards are the enemy of Allah. And he ordered the Muslims, if you kill a lizard from the first ball, Allah will give you, etc., etc., reward. Hmm? 
Do we have any smart Abdul? Peter, you have a wife already? Convert to Islam, my friend. You will get four wives. And you can change them every day as a change in your shirt. <laughs> Islam has a solution for anything. Anything you want. Anything. Islam is a way of life. It's a way of life to have four wives and four mother-in-law. And you can imagine how fun your life will be when you have four mother-in-law. They are visiting you every day. I mean, that's fantastic. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? By the way, the first time I saw this monkey, I felt there is something fishy about him. Look at him. Guys, look at him. Anyone notice something? Anyone notice something? Nobody? I mean, am I the only smart person here? Okay. What you will notice about this monkey, he is not moving. Do you notice that? Look, for how long we have him on the screen? He did not move. I will tell you why. This monkey is an Orthodox Jew and he will not break the Sabbath. According to Muhammad, you do nothing. You don't even move. This is additional proof that this monkey is a Jew. It's not because it's a picture and the picture will not move. No. Because trust me, this is coming from a real monkey. So now it's a picture, yes, but he was moving at that time. But at that moment when they took the picture, he was not moving. Otherwise, the picture will be burned. And this is additional proof that this monkey is a Jew. And he is stopping from moving from... Hmm, monkey, because, you know, because it's Saturday. Now let us go back to the hadith and show you the sign of the intelligence of the Prophet Muhammad. May Allah pray on him and salute him. In that hadith, let's see if we can find a picture of a rat. I don't think we will find a rat here. What the heck? Is that a rat? No. He looked like uh, maybe a wild rat. Okay. This one is good. This is a real rat. All right. Let us zoom in. Guys, actually, this is perfect picture. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this, man. This rat is a, is a, is a customer of a Starbucks. I mean, can you, can you believe it? This rat is a real customer of a Starbucks. So we have a high class rat. <laughs> All right. Shut up. Come on. Now look at this. Look at this. If we go, shut up, man. Come on, I cannot even talk. What's wrong with you? Show some respect for rats, for the sake of rats. I turn my head up and down, up and down, turn, 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 turn around, and all what I can see, a bunch of rats around me. I turn my head. I don't know the song. I, I'm, I'm very good in singing, by the way. I'm the best. I know all the songs in the world. I don't even know two words of it. Anyway. So imagine the prophet, he turned his head up and down and he looked all, all around and what you can see? A rat, a rat around me. Let us see how the prophet with his special recognition software, he was able to recognize that rats are the Jews. How this happened? Let us see. Because here you will notice a special kind of intelligence. No human being have such an intelligence except the Prophet of Allah. Now Muhammad is going to prove to us that it is those rats are Jews. How he will prove it? Read carefully with me. Please, Abdul, read with me. Unless you are like a prophet, don't know how to read, how to write. Now Muhammad is saying they are except that they were cursed and changed into rats. And now Muhammad is going to prove it. For if you put the milk of a she-camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if you 
put the milk of a sheep in the front of it it will drink it and because the Jews don't drink camel milk and those rats don't drink camel milk that is a very clear evidence that those rats are Jews is it amazing Let me call, let me call a brother. What's wrong with those people? Is that true? Shut up, we want to call Zakir Naik. Should we call Zakir Naik or it's late here now? It's late, I think it's not nice to call him about rat. Then he will woke up and he will say, I saw it in my dream too. Do we have any Muslim want to explain the stupidity of his prophet? This is a prophet of God. That is a prophet of God. Sometimes he thinks the Jews are lizard. Sometimes he say in the Quran they are monkeys. Sometimes he says they are pigs. Sometimes they say he say they are rats. Well, what does that mean exactly? When Muhammad he said that those rats they don't drink she camel, but they drink the camel of a sheep. Does that mean those rats are Orthodox Jews? They are very conservative rats. Guys, if you go to Starbucks, you will never find in Starbucks ever milk of a camel. Now, if you look with me in the screen, this is a picture taken by an infidel, taken by a Christian, mostly, or a Jew, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe even a Hindu or Buddha. Oh, hold on. It's taken by a Muslim. This picture. No, no, it's not a Muslim. No, it's called. No, but, but it's, it's this is a, this is a Turkish rat. This is a picture taken in uh, Canyon Taxi, Turkey. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see the name. Do you see the name? This is a Turkish cat, I mean rat. He is a Jew who live in Turkey. I mean, you are telling me that the Muslims are not merciful with the Jews? Here we go. He is a free citizen, drinking as much he wish, walking in the middle of the street in a Muslim area, and he is fine. And not only that, he can drink his favorite milk for free from Starbucks. Look how nice the Turkish people. They buy Starbucks milk to the poor Jewish rat. Yeah, he might be a Mossad agent in Turkey. You never know. Going after Erdogan. Hmm. Now, the Prophet of Allah, how deep he is in thinking how deep he is in thinking i mean how he come to this conclusion if he and, and unless he is a really deep thinker let us see let, let, let us do this hold on let us do this go back to the rat image And we are going to put this story here. Oh, this story will became in, in the height of the. No, we cannot do that. Uh, no, became so long. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's okay, you know the story anyway. So, the prophet he discovered that rats and Jews they don't like to drink it's forbidden for them it's not halal it is not halal for a jew to drink camel milk and that means this rat the one we see in the front of us 
He is an Orthodox Jew. There is a software. I want to buy it. You guys should buy it for me. It's called uh, uh, Crazy Talk. I think it would be a perfect if I can use it to make some videos with it. That, that would be hilarious. We can make the we can make the rat speak himself about himself as a Jew. Who can reject the intelligence of the Prophet Muhammad? Who he just approved to us in a very like in in a minute. And he just look at the rat, and the rat is doing what? He is not drinking she camel milk. No, we. I got it. Muhammad, he said to himself, I got it. The rat don't drink she, she, she you know, they don't drink she camel milk, and Jews don't drink she camel milk. They are relatives. The prophet is a very deep thinker. Hmm. Tamara, you like Starbucks? Tamara, don't say that in, in the front of the prophet because the prophet he will come to a conclusion that this rat in the picture he likes Starbucks and Tamara likes Starbucks. So Tamara is a rat. I mean, don't do that. As you see, the prophet he 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 used his logic. You will end to be a rat for him. He will say that this rat is coming from the family of Tamara and the first okay what is the first letter in the name of the rat hold on hold on just to prove it to you in the logic of Muhammad just to show you the connection between the name of Tamara and the name of the rat okay let us make it here clear rat rat and now I will put the name of Tamara Ta ma, how you write your name? Let us see. Tama ra. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the connection. Unbelievable, perfect match. Be my witness. There is a perfect match between Tamara, who she said a second ago, not long time ago, that she like Starbucks. She like what? Be my witness. The text is there. She likes Stark Box and look. R A R A. Let me change the color. Hold on, hold on. I mean, those people they are not they don't have a strong vision like me. So we have to help them. Okay. We will use blue blue look at this amazing match do you see it r a r a however you notice there is something different in between the dna of this tamara and the dna of this guy there what is the what what is a different let me explain it to you the rat, his DNA contain what? R and A and P. Rat. Tamara, her DNA contain what? Ta ma ra. All right, we are getting close. We are getting close. Here you will notice. That is a very normal thing to happen if you study science, okay? Because if a rat she married from a human being, she will give the rat 50% of the DNA and the human being will give 50% of the DNA, right? And now what we will see here, what we will see, we have the T. This is a guy's a pure, pure logic. I mean, come on. Don't love, show respect. Okay, come on, I mean, what you are doing that? We have the letter T here. This is the first DNA. And we have the letter T here, perfect match. The letter A, 
appear in the name of Tamara three times. Why? Because here there is A, and the other one have A, that will make A plus A plus A, that will make it a three. All right. So until now, we have three to three match. A, 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 and A. That is one to three, which means A is exist in both of them. T is exist in both of them. And now we will find a perfect match between two R. R here, R there. Are you there? Are you listening? That's good. I mean, that is science. Now we were able to analyze how the prophet, the prophet is talking here about a chromosome. Do you remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a, a, a girl? <laughs> and the Muslim in the translation, they add the word, the chromosome. This is a chromosome. This is all about a chromosome. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim here don't have, do, like, do you have an objection for this uh, logic? For sure, we are not making fun of our, our sister Tamara. We love her, all of us. Don't ever make a woman angry, especially if she have long nails. And I saw a picture of Tamara, you know, not a real picture, really. I think it was like once she have a picture of her hands in her profile, she have a long, sharp nails. Sure. And this is additional proof that there is a connection. Look at the nails of the rat there. So look at this. Starbucks, she likes Starbucks. He likes Starbucks. Long nails, she have long nails. He have long nails. Hmm? She like to stand like this. He like to stand like that. Go and watch Tamara washing her dishes. She do exactly that. She stand in the front of the counter and she lay down. She put her hand on the dishes. So obviously there's a lot of similarity and this is clear to us that the prophet is saying the truth. Anyone here is a Muslim who don't like what we are saying. <clears throat> uh, that's a good news, guys. Tamara, she don't have long nails right now so you can do whatever you want. You are safe. Okay, let us make fun of her then. <laughs> she doesn't have long nails anyway, so she is not scary no more. All right. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? This is religion, and this guy is a prophet? This is a philosopher. This is not a prophet. He's, this guy, he have his own philosophy of school. I mean, look at this logic. He look at the rat, he look at the lizard, he look at the monkeys, he look at the donkeys, he look at the uh, uh, the chimpanzee, he look at the pigs, and he noticed that all of them, they share the same thing. They are must be same family. Mm. All right. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Who's a Muslim when I want to call me? Any Muslim? You know, the Muslim they said to me once, actually more than once, like a thousand times, that your video is making more people convert into Islam. Be honest with all of you. How many of you feel like converting to Islam right now, including the ones who have no long nails like tomorrow? Who their DNA match with this picture? Anyone feel like converting to Islam after watching my videos? Nobody? I'm very disappointed. Tamara, like what? Guys, this Tamara is dangerous, by the way. I mean, somebody, guys, for 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 the, for the sake of God, just take her away. I mean, this this she's. We are going dangerous here. She like what? She like long nails with what? What? Wait, 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 wait. And you are telling me the prophet was wrong about women? And women are victim of men? Look at this. What she said. <clears throat> I was planning getting my nails done pinky. I mean, look at this. Guys, she is cut red-handed. 
She liked to do her nails pinky. If the prophet, he heard about this, he will make the chapter, it's called the chapter of the pinky. The pinky, and what is the pinky? It's a woman, her, her name is Tamara, and she act like Rinky. She have a DNA of a rat, but she will scratch you like a cat. She is so crazy, and she is, I don't know, I don't want to make her up music now. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Pinky, don't say that, the prophet is watching. He will notice that you have a pinky nails and some monkeys have pinky ass and he will say, here we go, the are relatives. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the logic of the prophet, what I can do. Who can beat the prophet with his logic? Who can? Nobody. Oh boy. Hey, Abdul, the, uh, the, the prophet, he found out that the monkeys are Jews because they don't drink she, she camel. Okay, let me ask you a question. Rats don't drink whiskey. Muhammad don't drink whiskey. Does that mean Muhammad is a rat? Hello? Hello? It's me you are looking for. I mean, I am the most smart person in the galaxy. My name is Muhammad, the dead terrorist. Who can beat this logic? So if there's two kinds of animals or a human being, they don't eat the same food, that means they are relatives. Mm, I see. Well, I have something for you, Muslims. Monkeys, they drink urine. Muslims are the only human drink urine. Does that mean both of you are monkeys? <laughs> Unbelievable. Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? Mayday, Mayday, last call. Let us let us uh, let us take the name of Tamara from the screen because people they might think that Christian Prince is given to reference for a verse is called Tamara. Oh yeah, Tamara. Oh yeah, Tamara. There's a song actually. There's a song. It's called Aya Tamara. Do you know about it, Tamara? Do you know about the song of Tamara? If I find her, her the song, I think she will play 24 hours, seven days a week. She won't even go to bed. She won't sleep. She will play the song. I'll tell you tomorrow. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, tomorrow. I'm typing in English. Hold on. Mara. How to try Tamara in Arabic? I don't know. It's not an Arabic name. Oh, yeah, Tamara. Here we go. I found it. La, 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 la. Let us see what he say. Oh, yeah, Tamara. Hold on, hold on. Go to Tamara, man. What? So you know, Tamara became a superstar. Suddenly, I think soon, you know, some uh, some artist magazine they will contact you, Tamara. People singing for you, Christian Prince talking about you, your nails, your pinky nails. I mean, what do you want more? Unbelievable. Very, okay. Oh, yeah, Tamara. This is an old song in Arabic, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> if the prophet, he knew about a name, actually, if, if the prophet saw any of you ladies, uh, he will make a chapter about you. About your nails, about your hairstyle. Muhammad he will go crazy with those things he see today. If Muhammad he see any of the videos about unboxing panties, Muhammad he will make fifty percent chapters of the Quran about panties. I'm telling you, this guy is a genius. He swear by fig. Why? Because he's so fig. He like fig. He's, he he make a chapter about the fig. About olive. Let us see. Hold on.
Hmm. Trying to find something serious. Oh, I don't know what to do with the stupidity of this world. I mean, how a human being can believe in such a garbage for a second? How a human being can be stupid like this? Very sad. Let us see. Oh boy, look at this picture. I cannot show this picture. If I show this picture in the screen, the number of my viewers for my videos will increase like five times more, or maybe 50 times, or maybe 500,000. But I'm not going to do that. Because this, by the way, this is a picture of a donkey. Uh, I know I cannot find the picture which is fit with the topic I want to talk about. Not being lucky. Mm, yeah, sometimes you are not lucky. What you can do? Ninety-nine percent of the time, I'm not lucky. Ninety-nine, nine-nine percent. Okay, let us see more, more, more. Yeah, I look like I'm. I'm not getting lucky. Look like we have a dog fight outside. If the prophet is outside, he will make a chatter about it. Okay. Men of equality for respect. Respect women of equality. Uh, I like this one. Let us see this one. Oh, my screen is frozen. I cannot even share the screen with you now. Why this is happening? Why? Why this is happening? Let me close some programs. Maybe that will make it work. Ah. Okay, let me close this one. It's not closing. <coughs> You know this uh, circle of death in Mac is not working. I don't know what to do now. I cannot click at anything. I cannot do anything. I think I should read the. I think I should recite Quran now. What do you think? I think so. Anyway, guys, I think it's it's getting late already. I I hope you have a good time with us today. And you Muslims feel free to call us and if you think that we are saying anything not true, please feel free to call us uh, Better than making videos trying to refute me. What about you call me live and let people see how smart Islam is We are just trying to discover the intelligence of your Prophet and Sadly, we could not find any intelligence in the intelligence of the Prophet So we need your help. All right Tomorrow is going to be Friday and for sure Friday. We will have a nice podcast So until I see you this coming Friday guys, I say may the Lord bless you I cannot click at even music to finish this broadcast because as my see my screen is Going in a circle of death. I cannot even shut down the program. So I want to say thank you May the Lord bless you and until I see you again tomorrow at 4 30 p.m New York time don't forget to subscribe be sure that the notification sign in YouTube is on so you can be notified and you can subscribe to my channels in uh, I mean to my uh, Facebook my uh, minds.com uh, Patreon for those who like to help us in donation feel free and I always post there when I have uh, a live broadcast so you will be notified not only in uh, YouTube thank you very much and may the Lord bless you all of you until I see you tomorrow at 4.30. Christ is Lord. Islam is false.
and we prove it here every day. See you soon again. Bye-bye.